Welcome to Wednesday and welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Hey guys. This one won't be 12 hours long. No. <laughs> this will be a normal length. Two to three to four hours. Oh, exactly. No. We'll see five how long it goes. Five to six to seven. We do have five games. So welcome to Zero Page Homebrew we play, where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second. So make sure you've clicked that 60 frames a second button. It does make a difference. It does because you miss half the games literally and half of us too. Yeah. Actually, you won't, because we're the camera's at thirty frames a second. Yeah, which is it's double just, to it's, sixty. It's just the games, just and the it's games. just because of what we do. Yeah, you can watch things at any frame rate for <laughs> any anything else. But not these games; they're very specially made for sixty frames. You're, you're a actually second. missing some of the details. So we have got some great games today. Um, right off the top of the show, we're going to be playing Galagon. Ooh, what is Galagon? I don't know. Do you think what what genre is that in, James? Yeah, I think it's a <laughs> space shooter. Um, oh. it's actually Galaga, but, <laughs> but renamed. But we'll get into that. It's brand yeah. new. Uh, we're going to be playing an update to Roach in Space. This is, it looks like audio is sync might be off. Let's oh check and see. Gosh. That might be us. So annoying. I thought they'd fix that, but they didn't. Welcome to Audio in Sync. So much better. Yeah. We're, we're uh, not like a cheap torrent from China anymore. <laughs> that's right. Uh, the next one up is Nano Wing. Uh, fourth game is One Button Bob. And the fifth game is Drone Wars. So we've got five games to get that's I'm Some of them are pretty quick. I'm going to guess so. One Button Bob might be a quick one. I don't know. <laughs> very quick. That <laughs> okay, one's uh, very quick. And we played Roach in Space before, and, yeah. and Galaga, but yes. not Galagon. That's right. And all the rest of them are new. Okay, so that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers, Charles and Chat, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny, WC23, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, RC70, Retro Happy Hour, Scum Software, who's with us. Hey. Uh, Sir Catleg, Sound Wizard, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, 2008, and Tiki Dan K. And I want to thank uh, Ground Trooper for telling I us the sync too. was off. And uh, <laughs> I hunger. Uh, welcome, Dianoid77, Milton Buddhist1, Dan ABC, Scum Software, Mr. Fix, Ground Trooper, uh, Jesus98, Atari, hey. uh, Mr. Fix, did I say that? Yeah. And everybody, uh, I'm a bit out of sync, so it works out. Okay. Yeah, Milton Buddhist is a little off at all times. Uh, it's all good. Well, you know what? Sometimes you turn into, like, you know, a travel person when you get hungry. You know, your, your right. sentences get simpler. You start to hunger Food, instead of be hungry. Mouth, now. Sleep, yes. need. <laughs> um, and you can support the show, too, if you subscribe for... You can subscribe for free if you have Amazon Prime. And you just uh, link it to Twitch Prime and then click subscribe and Jeff on Jeff Bezos can, can continue to rule the world. <laughs> That's right. Um, <laughs> so we got some uh, mail, news, and feedback. All of it. Actually, all three. Oh. Um, as most of you know out there, because most of these people that are in the chat... Oh, and Lem Callister, welcome. Hey. Um, sync is good, yes. Yeah. We had a 12-hour Stellathon I had an I had Friday. an eight-hour Stellathon, four of which I don't remember. It just blanked out <laughs> completely. <laughs> I lost some of it in there, but we oh, did it. No, me too, I think. Which is great. Yeah, bits and pieces. Um it did really, really well. Tons of people tuned in. It was our most watched show ever so far. And our is, longest, which is, I don't know how that works out. I really would have assumed the opposite. I would have been like, we're going to... would have, but people stuck through it the whole way. It was unreal. Un it was unbelievable. So that was... And that lots was of really highlights, cool. too, for oh me. Like, so many, so many cool times. And I like the, like, uh, the tone of the show. I feel like we actually did, like, four shows... And each yeah, four one full show. And each one almost was like a, its own chapter. Like we had all these interviews, and yeah. then we kind of like reached a point where we were very focused on the games, and then we were just fucking around, and then we were drunk. <laughs> so it was yeah. like it was cool to sort of go on this, you know, this journey with us, and, and we played a whole ton of homebrews, which is fun. We talked about auction items. Um, so I want to give you the rundown of the totals now. Oh, at good. The, at the end of the show, we did a total, um, which was we raised uh, in auctions $1,297 Canadian and donations 561 at the end of the stream, totaling $1,858, which was amazing. Yeah, man. But the auction continued on because of the three-day auction, and also the donations were still open past that. Now... 
the donations kept going up and up until it reached one thousand dollars even perfectly yeah. by the end that's amazing and the ebay auctions went way up from twelve hundred dollars to two thousand and seventy four dollars totaling just over three thousand three thousand and seventy five dollars and fifty one cents canadian so we, we tripled their annual we thing, did which is that's a goal yeah so steven said normally they get about a thousand dollars a year and we tripled it and i'm assuming they'll get that same amount or maybe a little bit less because people push the their donations over to us um no, I didn't win the Mappy tournament, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that part. <laughs> I've yeah, got it in the we news. sort of screwed you over with that yeah, one. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I thought we'd have more time in the 12 hours You'd to play think games. So. But we were doing a lot of interviews. We were talking a lot. I and actually, there's four people to play games, too. I, I, might, I don't know how you feel, but I almost felt more pressure because we had 12 hours. Because I knew that if we dropped the ball, it's like we're not going to pick it back up. So, you know, yeah. cause it's like, what do you, you do if you drop the ball at six hours? <laughs> you <laughs> like, got to perform really well the whole time. And we did very well yeah. in a lot of games like, um, Amoeba jump. Absolutely. We're doing really well. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but I mean, yeah, so it is, it's, I, I make sense that we were so back to back because it <laughs> yeah. was almost more stressful because, you know, in a, in a three hour show, if you fuck around like for like a little bit, it's not the end of the world, no. but in a 12 hour show, it's, well, we had schedules. We had a game oh, each yeah. hour or more games. Um, and Dionoid said the call-ins on the Stealthon were excellent and they were, they, they were really good. I, they went way better than I thought they would. Um, it actually, I think like six, six developer call-ins and they're all like high profile and really developers. unique interesting information from all of them and from yes. their own unique perspective yeah. like i learned so much and i also felt like we actually had less gaming time because we were just like let's <laughs> yeah. just keep these people talking like when do these when do we get these people on camera ever Never. yeah yeah so rarely and it was really an amazing treat and some people had never heard those people ever before yeah. like nathan strum um, somebody commented I, I, uh, in private comment to me. I think it was John Champeau. He's like, I, he's worked with him for 14, <laughs> 14 years and has never heard his voice. And so this was a big treat for, um, for everyone out there to hear these people's um, voices and to hear directly what they think about things. Like text gives a certain inflection but Absolutely. to hear them speak about this these topics and taking questions from the audience too um and, and also just how unique each one of them are that's the cool thing yes. about this community is that they were totally it, different all of them it attracts these you know you you assume that everyone has a certain sort of thing yeah. but it, they you know it's hard to predict people and that was cool to be so surprised by just the diversity of like interest and perspective and voice and character yeah. it was like ooh. and because the interviews went so well it's kind of pushed me forward on a project that <sighs> i've been thinking about doing for a while um on zero page homebrew which is a developer spotlight episode. Oh, that's a good idea. Which is going to be very similar to what we did on the uh, Stellathon, where we would interview um, a developer at the top of the show, and then after the interview, go through their entire catalog of games, one by one, playing them on the show. That sounds like so fun, man. So I'm into it. a real focus on these developers and really, you know... Help, Make them shine and and really showcase what their career is about and what they've done. Just as an audience member, I'd be stoked to see that. Yeah, so I don't know when that's going to start because my film is kind of ramping up <laughs> true. in the uh, festival circuit right now because it's getting towards the end of um, the one-year festival tour. Yeah. And the fall is always... That's the big time yeah. for festivals, uh, film festivals. So I've got four coming up, possibly even more. So I'll Which be away great. for like a couple of days at a time or a week at a time. Need here a cat there. sitter. That's right. <laughs> well, Tanya will be here for most of them. But oh, okay, some of them cool. not. Some of them not. Yeah, so just let me know. Definitely for um, for one of them. Uh, we'll definitely need it's a always, cat sitter. I always love hanging out with the cats. <laughs> Dan and Gary Kitchen, maybe. Yeah, that might be a good uh, um, double one. Um that's not really homebrew until Dan puts his out because <laughs> that'd be that'd be old Atari stuff. That would be a cool one. 
once Dan puts out his two games, maybe I can um, do that. I have an interview of him uh, in Waiting in the Wings that's going to be released really soon. Now that I have footage of uh, Gold Rush that he's released, I think. Uh, See, I, I'm soaked for like almost the opposite end where like somebody who's like you know, like the true homebrew, like someone who is like, you'd never imagine, they would never be on camera yes. normally. And yeah. they and they would never even like have a chance to talk to even their friends or wife about this <laughs> shit. And I want to get them on the show, hang out and talk to them. Like, yeah. I'd love to see the opposite end of like, you know. Like the, the underdogs, the absolutely. people that don't get the spotlight all the time. And, and have ca- made... keep pumping out these games that, that don't maybe get the attention they deserve. Yeah, and just to hear them, like, why they um, do this and what keeps them coming. Yeah. Especially, because to me, that's, that's the thing I relate to. Because, like, mm. I mean, I've had nothing but, you know, false starts. And I wouldn't say failure is, is mm. the wrong word. But no. definitely my expectations haven't been what I've wanted them to be. But I keep going in the area that I'm interested in. Yep. And so I'd love to hear from people who don't have maybe the awards or the splash, but, yeah. but and why do they keep making games? Cause I think there's something very pure about that person. Anyways, I'm romanticizing. <laughs> um, uh, Dan ABC said he saw a few interviews on YouTube. It was great. Yeah. So, um, I'll be sectioning those interviews out of the 12 hour marathon. Yeah. I've already sectioned out our medieval mayhem oh, that playthrough was... because it was crazy. I don't. That was that was probably at my drunkest. I was, I was not doing. <laughs> Everybody well. was very excited there. I was I was not doing very well at the it's games. A, it's a tough game. It's, it's it was fun game. though. That was the that was that was so, so much good. fun. Um, Scum Software says, "I love your focus of promoting the efforts of the developers. Their labors of love deserve more attention." Absolutely. Well, they're they're the people who do do deserve the attention. Well, they're the ones who make the games and put in hundreds of hours of effort. And the inspiring thing to me about this community is that these are people who are doing it for love, you know? Yeah, it they're is... not getting paid. They, they make nothing. They make, like, pennies a, an hour at the end. And what's that motivation? Where does yeah. that come from? Because to me, that's very cool. Because yeah. the 95% of the reason why we do things in life seems to be sometimes for just weird, stupid reasons. Like, yeah. I want to get a bunch of money, or I want to, yeah. like... You know, I wish my dad loved me or like, you know what I mean? It's like there's these human things, but there's something cool about this community because if you're hanging out making games um, and just releasing them to a small audience. Yeah. Is it a challenge for you? Is it the accolades? It's not the money. No. Because there is no money. Or is it, do you just like it? Do you, yeah. And what, and what do you like about it? Do you like playing your own games? Do you like making these games because you didn't have this ga- type yeah. of game as a kid? Or who's your audience? Yeah. You know, who's it, what was the first time you played Atari? Anyways, I'm, so th- so that'll be fun. Yeah, doing, doing these interviews and finding out the motivations. Um, what happened during Medieval Mayhem is what happens when <laughs> you have an amazing four-player game like Medieval Mayhem, drunk or so. That's true. Brings out the competitiveness in people. Yes, it sure does. It does, and it's just so much. Well, fun. the teamwork and also the fact that like we didn't quite know how to play the game yet too like you can watch us slowly figure it out so we've got a box we've got an opening here let's see what it is i know what it is keep my address off the camera there oh god (laughs) yeah we don't Don't want want visitors the caps will scare them away hiss hiss hiss. they will oh yeah we had a cat meltdown mid-show oh yes that's right we had um a cat fight um a rogue uh, neighborhood cat got on the balcony and um, started uh, causing trouble. Yeah, and we had to like ward off that cat, and Darcy threw water on the other cat. That's right, we had to try to figure out like what was going on. It was, yeah, it was just noises, crazy noises, but uh, a lot of excitement happening. So, I know what this is um, it is from Calgary. Ooh. <laughs> and, um, I saw this person online advertising, uh, well, promoting their products in in one of the video game uh, Facebook groups that I, um, oh, oh, okay, there's my name, let's put it that way. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> yep, we're all good. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, and I thought, oh, that's that looks awesome. I want one of those. Let's see what this is. No, I haven't. Oh. Like this is a custom made one, so I haven't really seen it. He did send me a proof of it, but it was hard to tell what it yeah, really looks this like. Yeah, this will be a, this is a real reveal. Yeah, so this is a, a one of a kind. And I've always wanted 
something like this, um, but I've never seen anybody do this one. So when I saw him, <laughs> there we go. That's classic. Fuck yeah. Oh my so God. So it is a, um, what is it called? A box? Um, something, something box. Oh, oh, see, I don't know that <laughs> this vocabulary where where it's inset. So let's shadow box. Thank you, ground trooper. Yay! So there we go. It's a Galaga shadow box. Let me try and get it so it's not reflective. Put it over here. There we go. Yeah, this is really nicely done. Really, really oh, nicely done. Nice. So let's take a look at it. So it's got the arcade. Um, logo at the top the marquee and then the arcade artwork along the outside and then a screenshot in the middle i think the cool this game so has even more meaning for you nice. now it does well you, you thought it was as, <laughs> as meaningful as it could get and it just got even like a notch more meaningful yeah so th this of... is really really well done um so he'll make a custom one of any video game you Whoa. want so if your favorite video game um, is whatever even an, an arcade one a home one he's he does all custom artwork not custom artwork but i mean it is customized yeah um he doesn't draw it but he uh takes it from the the game and and makes it so i'll be able to hang this up another piece of galaga artwork yes um i am oh, still your, looking for your, original your shooters marquee. are back too oh yeah i put that one back up and i need to put some other ones up here and this is probably where it'll go over on this side yeah. here somewhere i don't know Maybe there, actually, above the oh, light switch. It's small would, enough to that fit. That would be a cool it's, spot. Go see how it fits. Oh, oh that yeah. would be cool. That's where it's, it's going to go, because nothing else can really go there. It's also way easier to see, because if it's in the corner, no one will ever see it. That's Versus right. there, it's like... So I'll put that there for now. Warm your heart. Yeah. Right above the light switch. Yes, very nice. I like that developer interview idea. That would be very cool. Uh, yeah, and I, I had that... A long time ago that that idea to do that but um, I just didn't didn't know how it would work and that was kind of a good proving ground and it's like no that works that works really well um, and scum wants to know uh, who made who the made thing it? what's the uh, let no that's gonna be a little challenging because I would have to find you I know who made it but I guess you don't want to necessarily throw out their uh... But I want to give the Facebook... Yeah, the official. Let me just look it up really quickly, see if I can find it for you guys. He said, uh, he said no worries, we can come back to it later. But I guess we're already on it. And it's, yeah. sometimes it's one of those things in life where later means never. <laughs> exactly. So it's, you got to get it done right when it's there. So okay, it's just... so I found his name. Now I should be able to look up where his post was. Posts. Here we go. Oh, it was under Canada Video Game Swap and Talk, which is a closed group. Oh no. Um, so you'll have to get in that closed group. And is it? This is, is it like there? the opening of the social oh, network, no, it's James. Not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> that's not where it is oh yeah it is I'm trying to get into a finals club July 10th. yeah exactly the closed <laughs> so let me post the link for you guys but you will have to get in the group first um, oh this sounds like a challenge so there's the group so good luck with that uh, if you're not Canadian, I don't know if you'd be allowed in there. <laughs> so we're an inclusive group, though. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, um, we'll... <laughs> so we got a couple um, messages mm. from watchers. Um, actually, Brian Eno, the author of Warring Worms. Do you remember that game? Oh, I do. Where that was... you're able to shoot, and then there's obstacles in the way, and you can sometimes shoot through those obstacles depending on what options you had. Um, he left a comment on our episode when we played his game. He said, thanks uh, for the blast from the past, guys. I'm glad you enjoyed the game because he wasn't there yeah. to watch it, uh, watch us play it. Um, and from the Atari Age forums, Impaler26, who watches the uh, 
the stream. I love watching Zero Page Homebrew. Seeing you guys play homebrews and give feedback is fun to watch and also a great motivation to try and turn one of my lousy ideas into an actual game. Keep up the good work. <laughs> hey, Impaler. Hey, Impaler. So that's what he left in the Atari Age forums. I think that was after in the thread of our um, Stellathon. Ah. Um, and speaking of that as well, of inspiring people to make games, um, uh, Jorel Silks from Scumsoft, who's with us. Whoa. Uh, Jor, hold on. Jorel? Jorel. He said, like Superman's father. God Jor-El. damn. <laughs> he, he said, uh, and we played his game. Yeah. Uh, Egg Venture 2600. Bird person. Bird person. He said, thanks for Zero Page Homebrew for getting me back here. And he means back into the forums. The game is now back in active development. Egg Venture 2600 version 3 is being fixed up. Lots of bugs were introduced in the remake of it. So he's going to keep continuing to work on it. That's awesome. And he's already uh, made some uh, improvements and will be able to play his game again uh, when he's finished it up. Uh, well, wait, I walked out. Which game? Egg Venture 2600. Bird person like Rick and Morty. <laughs> that's right, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's what I feel like your character is. Um, so somebody referenced it earlier. Uh, we did play Mappy during uh, the Stellathon. And w- I didn't get as high scores I wanted to, but we didn't have as much time as we'd hoped. But even though um we didn't have as much time you did really well actually um, i think one? you did the best you did ever on mappy oh yeah i did quite well which yeah. is which is really hilarious i think you got it to a higher level than i did but yeah and you, a, a higher score you beat I? me yep jesus christ no yeah. way um so you got 36,690. I got 35,740. <laughs> That's so you, crazy. I, w- I, was, I didn't even notice. Yeah. So you got uh, in... I'm sorry, you James. You got six po- You don't have to apologize. That's great. Well, it is great, but I feel bad because it's like I'm not even on the board at all <laughs> for like this big... You are now. Uh, so you got six points for that, and I got five points. Sick. Uh, Root got Root forty two got one hundred fourteen thousand. Nathan Strum got ninety one thousand. Nathan, he was a beta tester. For Makes it, sense. And Makes he's so really sense. good at it. Arena Foot got forty thousand. Uh, Oyama Family got sixty five thousand. Um, and Darcy got nineteen thousand. Um, so that got me a, a couple more points towards, um, the final total because that was the final game. Oh yeah. And so, the final, final scores, I got 34 points overall, and Dude. number one, finally. Oh, fuck yes! In the 2019 um, Harmony Games, that's what it's called. Wow. And you came in uh, fourth. How did I come in fourth? With 16 total points for all the games. Yeah, Arena Foot was second, Nathan Strum was third. Whoa. And you came in fourth, so good job. Hey, That's excellent. Man, it's like I competed for bronze and lost. <laughs> That's right. You know what they say is getting fourth place in the Olympics is the worst thing of all time. Absolute worst. Because you did really, really, really well, but no one will ever know your name. That's right. Ever. <laughs> That's all. Oh, that's hilarious. Even that's great. bronze placing people get like endorsements. Oh yeah, and you come home with interview. something. You're like, look at my bronze. Like you could be first in your country and oh, come yeah. home. The other two people could be two different country countries, but you'll be first in your country. Absolutely. So it's like almost you got gold for Canada, but you got bronze in the world. Um, and it's also hilarious, like when you watch like the competition for like silver and gold. Whoever gets silver is just crying. I and know. then whoever gets bronze is like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it is. Because, you know, third place seems almost better than second because second you lost first. Exactly. And third, you weren't even in contention for first, just, but you're still on the podium. Yeah, you still won. It's so, so psychological. Um, Sprybug, uh, who made uh, Princess Rescue, Zippy the Porcupine, and Robot Zed, is developing... Uh, Batari music and sound tools um, based on his game Robot Z because sometimes that comes out of games where you're working on your game and you're trying to make your game but then you actually make a tool to help make your game easier to make so that's what come out of uh, has come out of uh, Robot Z 
is he was trying to make music for it. So he made a tool to make music, and now he's releasing it for everyone so that they can put music in their Batari Basic games, because the music in Robot Z is pretty good. And um, there's a game called Raid Over Bungling Bay. <laughs> That's a good name. Yes. Um, I can't remember the name of the person right now, but somebody will be able to remind us. Um, the person who made that, it, the game is, um, it's a city, an overhead view of a city. And you're a helicopter and you're trying to blow up various enemy bases in this city. And the person made uh, a, a city maker, like, to place the tiles of the city to map it all out. And he had more fun making the city than playing the game. Wow. So guess what that development tool turned into? What did that turn into? Sim City. Jesus Christ, that makes <laughs> Which sense. Which is one though. of the biggest franchises. Oh my ever. God, I definitely. Yeah, um, I think Radio for Bungling Bay is a, a great game. Because I think what it does is it's like one of the great pleasures of playing games is being God, like you yes, know, and that is their God games. The, yeah. And the, I think that's very pleasurable and fun. It's like creation is such a pleasurable thing that, yeah. like you know. Because, yeah, it's so much more fun sometimes to create something than it is to play something. It. Yeah. <laughs> I love right. Militant Buddha says, that game is the shit. I was just reflecting on how the makes all the difference in that sentence. <laughs> yes. Because when I is. first glanced at it, I was like, oh. The, game, the game's shit. It's or a, an apostrophe S. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> oh, the, yes. So we're going to get to our first game now, finally. You know, half an hour. We get to blab on for a while. Uh, which is... <laughs> Galagon. Oh. Uh, hold it. Yeah, yep. I got it all held down. And uh, you won't hear the uh, Atari box because this will be playing some two player. Okay, cool. So let's switch over. Oh, you got to plug the. Okay. So go down to that. Galagon. I still named it Galaga. I need to change that. That's okay. Luckily, Galagon is later in the alphabet. Oh, he named it. Atari Age. Uh, should we do two player or one player? Um, let's go right to two player. You can't do that. No, it's just left and right. Ah, right. cool. What do you think? Co-op. Oh. That's the one that is not in the demo. You can only play one player in the demo. Oh, this so, is a harder one, I think. It is challenging because because you bump into each other. So, this build was passed to me yesterday. It is brand new. I was like, oh, this got to go on the show. He's done a ton of updates, including the name. As you've seen, it's even in the title there, Galagon. If you go to the... Oops. There we go, Galagon. Now, this... Um, obviously, this change, if, if everybody can guess that, <clears throat> it's so that there's no legal trouble, right? Yeah because um, there can be issues, and it's just easier to just name it Galagon. Everybody knows what it is. The gameplay is the same. It's just a title change. And he actually named it after his old DOS port of oh, Galagon. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, so, there you can see there. Or not. Anyway, it says Galagon um, because he made... Um, John Champeau made a bunch of games back in the day, um, for uh, DOS. He made Kong, Miss Pac-M, Pac-M, Galaxia, Centipedem, <laughs> Asterox, Invaders, and Galagon. So very uh, creative names. Um, so a lot of the code that is in Galagon Was is fr from the DOS game, like all the flying ships, all the patterns, everything like that. Um, so that's how he was able to make this first edition of this game that he released uh, in only six weeks, which is unbelievable, oh, right? Oh, yeah, it's insane. Um, there will be an updated limited build. Yes, it may have the co-op in the limited demo. Oh, okay, very cool. Cool. Yeah, because this will be released in a demo version, the updated version, in a couple days or soon. I, you didn't say a couple days, but soonish. Yeah, when it's ready. Yeah, when when it's ready, exactly. Which, which nobody can predict. <laughs> yeah, uh, because he wants to make sure it's all good. And that's totally. why we're playing it on the show, too, to look for problems. Details. There's not really any bugs anymore. It's about polish at this point. Yeah. Or playability. Um, especially in the co-op mode, because 
that has never been invented. Like it's it's a new thing. So it has to be about the fun. And also the challenge mode that he has in here. Yeah. Where well, you're just playing all the challenge modes. Which is super good practice. Um, so this was first book posted May 15th, 2019. This build is from yesterday. It's a 32K game with the CDFJ driver. Other games he's done, Avalanche, Champ Sports Hockey, Conquests of Mars, Elevator Action, Ladybug, Mappy, Ripoff, Scramble, Super Cobra Arcade, Wizard of War Arcade, and Zookeeper. So this game and Wizard of War Arcade will be released at Portland Retro wow. Gaming Expo October 19th, 2019. It's a reason if to go down goes, to Portland. Oh, yeah. More than just... Uh, <laughs> Or up awesome or there. sideways to Portland, yeah. wherever you are. To the west coast, or down, or up. Um, yeah, it's a really great uh, convention. It's really, really awesome. And he will be there as well, John Champo wow. and his brother. Um, so you'll be able to talk with him and play Galaga with him. And, um, so Wizard of War will be out, and Galaga. So this one is not available, but a new demo will be available soon that you'll be able to play. I don't know if it'll have um the demo the co-op mode in the demo maybe it'll have a limited version of it um uh -huh. okay so let's play okay i'm gonna read out the changes to co-op okay cool and then we'll i'll read out the changes to other things as we play them um co-op changes added a player message after your ship is captured so we'll see what that player message okay says. cool uh, fixed a bug when your ship uh, was killed during the rescue sequence and the wrong player took control of the next ship. Changed it when a ship is destroyed and the other ship is captured. The captured ship is swapped with the ship that was destroyed. The captured player goes next. Um, displays the ho uh, shot and hit ratio for both players at the end of the game. Okay. So press to the right or left or up. Okay, there we go. That's probably good. Um, so standard two-player co-op. Yep. Oh, so you're first. So like, how's this co-op business work? So you've got to get me in the game. Okay, I see. So you've got to get captured. So don't kill those big Galagas at the top. Okay. Leave at least two. So okay. You can kill all of them except for two. You can kill two of them. Okay, cool. So don't have to be too careful. You want to kill all the other bugs. Is... There you go. So now you're down to three. Cool. And that's the first flyby. He won't capture you. The second one that comes down. Second one that comes down. There you go. So this one will bring you up. Oh, God. I Just almost... saved you. <laughs> Jesus. Because you're invincible when you get captured. Okay, good. And then now you go. Now I go and I rescue you, I believe. I think so. Yes, I think that sounds ready. about right. Yeah, because he wants to balance it so it's um, one person goes and the next person goes as much as possible within fairness. There we go. Hey! Okay, now. So you are on the right. And I'm on the left. There we go. You got it. Okay, cool. I'll just do my best not to die. Yeah. So we can show off the two-player part of it. His leg. Avoid the bullets. Play defensively. Now a good hint is to stay put and then move a little bit when the when the bullet comes down because the bullets go where you were. Oh god, right? yeah. Uh, there's a little. There's a feeling of being boxed in a little bit. Because you're kind of you have half the screen. Yeah. So or it's more a, it's or an less. Interesting. Because I can push you like nope. You only uh -oh. have nothing on the screen. Yeah. See. Okay. Let's get these guys. Nice. Get up. Ah! You have failed me. Oh no. Yeah. I kind of supposed to hold down that end. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, no. Yes. Yay! Okay, that's better than nothing. I, f I do find um, uh, this game very stressful <laughs> um, compared to most. And I would say high one of the challenges... Oh, see. There we go. And it's one of the challenges I find with this game 
it's not an easy is game. I don't I do find my my blood pressure is high the whole time. And, oh yeah, there's no and rest. I, and I feel like very disappointed in myself in a way I don't feel in other games. <laughs> it's not easy. But then you feel like you're on the top of the world when oh, you're nailing it, you know? That's okay. Just yet. I don't think. I'll let him come down, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Because I only left that one guy accidentally. It's all good. And then I died. Uh, and it's your turn. Because I died. Yeah. Because it makes it fair, right? If I'm the last to die. This is. I just gotta kill this guy, eh? Yeah. yeah. There's no. And then Stay bring me back five. if you can. Instant fucking death. So now it said ready and then whoever, right? Okay. So that's much better. That's a big improvement. So you know who it is that is coming up rather than, oh, who is it? Oh, it's me. And you start controlling I actually do oh, find oh, kind of co-op two-player style games harder to play because you get in a groove when you're playing on your own. Like I find mm. like when you're like, at least that's how I feel with a lot of games where you sort of have like a little bit of a momentum. Mm -hmm. And so I find when I'm like, you know, like, if it almost it's hard to break that momentum, you know. Mm, okay. Yes. Yes. Especially with games like this. Um, not that there's anything wrong. It's just a cool, different challenge. But I, but I do find that very interesting. Okay. So now I have to try you to. You have like, to rescue me. Oh, see, this is the why this is hard. Is I feel like I'm just gonna let James down. Which Don't break, kill me. Which break would break Don't my heart. Don't kill me do, up there. I'm gonna do my best. Uh, yeah. John officially changed its name to Galagon. I showed this game at VGS Saturday. Oh, very cool. Yes, as of this um, build of the game, as of yesterday, he did officially change Whoa. it to Galagon. Come on! I know, I'm me. just trying to, like, look at Kill the that other guy, though. Kill that other guy. Sorry. There, get up! Oh. oh, you're getting that guy. Okay, it's next pass. No! no. That was a... The opposite! <laughs> but that was a shot in the dark, man. I was... He kind of flew himself in front. Like, like I don't know how I'm supposed to, like, it's a do -si do that, like, it's spins hard. and... Yeah. Oh, God. That's the challenge, right? It's not supposed to be easy. No, it's good. Now you're on your own. Unless oh. you get to 70,000, and then you get another life. Oh. Which is challenging. Yeah, and, and based least. off of uh, my current rhythm and <laughs> skill. And it also helps that I, this is... Now you can kill them all, and you don't have to hold back. Just okay. keep on firing. You, you don't have a life to get captured. Imagine if you guys could get two sets of double ships. Well, that would be a lot of bullets going up that the That would just, like, basically mean that, oh, like... Oh, good job. It would be, nice like, a, I think it would just be a... A little unfair for the enemy. Yeah, I mean, it would just but be also, a different game. It would just be sort of stacked. At... But also, we'd be a wide target for the enemy. Oh, like, yeah. We would get killed very quickly. That would be a fun, just like, you know, just like two seconds. <laughs> Christmas present level, you know? It would be. That would be, that would be like a meme play. <laughs> it's hard with one ship. So hard to get enough shots to... Especially, Especially with guys. double. Like, I know oh you're, like, God. right behind them. Like, what do yeah. you... Yeah. Yeah, because you move at the same speed as they do, so you'll never be able to catch up. You kind of have to stay ahead of them and then ease back. And these levels are all about memorization. Yeah, these are, like, patterns, right? Yeah. Especially that, if you know, like, if you can predict you, their movements. Because you can get ahead of them and shoot before they get on the screen and get those first two couple. 2,600 points. Ooh! Yeah. That's, that's the meme. Whoa, like, and I find this is where they start getting really, oh, yeah. like, bomber dives, too. Yeah, and fast. This is like Pearl Harbor, man. Fast bomber dives. Too soon, man. Oh, it's way too soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um... I, I have a recommendation for you if you haven't seen it already. I really enjoyed Red Letter, Red Letter Media's oh, predictions about like what the new Star Wars is going to be. I watched their shows instantly. It's so fun. Yes, it is. Um, Don't I, do it. Don't no, I won't. But then do what it. do you do? I'm like trapped. You have to wait. Yeah, there you go. Shoot. Oh! oh Insta-death. I, but I like that's 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 when I like their show. At, at Could he the, get capture one more time now and rescue him on your turn? No, no. because he didn't have any reserve ships. So, it was dumb. so that would just be captured in death. So player one results. There we go. 
and oh, then it pauses, does player two results. Very cool. Wow, nice that's nice. So you get to see individually how well you did. So, enter initials. Who? Oh, that's something that maybe needs to update. Oh, no, it's a cumulative thing. Right? So it'd have to be uh, J and A or A and J. I'm just going to do... But we don't have the Atari box in because we have the two controllers. Um, so eventually we'll be able to use the um, multi-adapter so that both joysticks will be able to import, import one and the Atari box in port two so we'll be able to save our games. Okay, so let's just switch here so I can control this. So if we go to novice and play two-player co-op. We start with like double ships. It says player one there, but it's not player one, it's both. So I don't know if he wants to change that um, because it is player one, but it's also player two. I don't know if it's worth changing. Now we can just master them all. Just, just shoot all of them. Because there's no benefit in, in keeping any of them. I mean, you do get more points for shooting them when they're flying. And shooting the Galagas when they're in formation, too, that when makes they're flying. Sense. But we're not that advanced of a player, so no. <laughs> Just to avoid the bullets. Oh shit, man. It's getting way old on. So just remember my hint. Stay put. Well like this some of these ones are going to actually be like like I'm guaranteed to die. Because <laughs> they to Well die. because they do bomber dive to the right of the screen sometimes. Oh. And if you're put you know what I mean, it's really tricky. They still die bomber dive for you. But I mean, if you're kind of in a position where, like, I can't move to, the, like, the left or right. Okay. That's, so it's an interesting thing. You have an advantage, but also a disadvantage, too. Mm. I guess like anything. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. It's kind of cool you can move independently. Yeah, it's and like... And shoot them. It's, like, separate, you know? Let's see. Can you force me over? No. It's even. Which is good. Oh, Extra see, life. Cause see like that guy's diving towards us and it's scary. Like that! Oh god. Are you able, yeah, you're surviving so far. Ah, Push it on the other way. Stage five. Whoa. Oh, I went right into it. Oh. You're on your own for now. You have to get oh. captured. Don't shoot all the guys. I'm gonna just try not to die. <laughs> okay. Like, oh, at minimum. That's scary. Oh, God. So, so, yeah, if you start a novice, you get both of them right off the bat. Lobsters! Whoa, 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 whoa next guy down next time yep so you get captured yeah and, you... and it retains the color of your ship at the top so you know who who has who got captured bam ready is it you? Oh, didn't say player two that's interesting so yeah. there is a bug there that would be nice So on a novice, it seems to. <laughs> it's hard, man. Oh, God, it, when they it, do that loop, it goes. Sometimes it just goes down. Come on over here. <laughs> Stage six. I'll try and get you back in the action. Oh, it's all good. Oh, we still... No, I didn't die. That's right. So I just said, oh, we still have three lives. Because my... It sh he, he might appear again, actually. No, no I shot him. Oh, rough. It's all over for him. It happens. Lobster! I think it's... 
scorpions. It could be a... I like to think it's a lobster. <laughs> it's probably scorpions. Space but... lobsters! It's just more... It's so much more hilarious. Because <laughs> space scorpions. Like, I don't know. It's like Mortal Kombat. But like, space lobster. <laughs> Is that a B-52 song? Ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> space lobster! It's sort of... It's, it's, it feels like... It feels crazy. Man, I oh that guy's dear! So, and the tough thing about <laughs> this is now I need to like you have to rescue now I have, me. Now the performance is on the and I'm and I'm out of sync because I haven't been playing for a while. You know that's what I mean? Right. I get thrown into the middle. It did of... say player two there. Okay, that's awesome. But it didn't last time. Ready player one. That's right. Whoa. Can't wait for the sequel, Ready Player Two. That's huh? right. Ha ha. I could do it. Oh, we almost killed me. Like, fuck, man. Also, it comes at an angle, right? I'm he's way. not. Oh, there you go. Because he's not way. protecting the extra ship. He's letting you. Um... Oh, God. Oh, God. It's so stressful. The pressure. Oh, God, the pressure. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Back. In. Whoa, we on Back different sides now? Yeah. Damn. Oh, oh right for the perfect phase. time, like it challenge is. phase. And I failed. Well, that was okay. Whoa. Oh, one more chance. Yes! Messed up on In your it. face. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. Nice. Come on your side this time. Oh! Uh, we were heroes. Four. Until we. Yeah. Oh, you're staying over there. You see? Yeah, I you think can't you, get out of it, I think you? you have more power than me, like... No, it's because you let me push you over there. Oh, oh God. That's want... an abusive relationship, <laughs> in a nutshell. You let me. <laughs> it's your fault. That's right, you let you me. You let me push you. you down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, should've, no! should have resisted. <laughs> so sad. You just gotta get stronger. <laughs> Pull yourself up by the bootstraps. If I'm not pushing against you, then you can push me. But ah. if I am pushing against you, you can't push me. And that goes either way. Oh, God. Hold on, am Bring I... Bring me back. Oh, I didn't... I, I forgot what was happening for a second. <laughs> Playing Galaga. Wait, where? Where am where I? Where am I? You're in a dream. A dream within a dream. This is Inception. <laughs> my brain is going to get planted with ideas of selling my corporation. It's so weird that that's actually, you know, the... Is that the whole thing? <laughs> the whole thing's oh, about him. I totally forgot. It's, it's about like a corporate thing. It's hilarious. That seems so small. <laughs> well, you forget. It's like he's telling the story of his wife, but it's more just like, it's literally like a corporate takeover. Well, you do need all this crazy technology to do corporate takeovers. That's right. Know, that multiple dream inceptions. That, that, that movie blew my socks off when I was like, when I saw it the first time. And then over the years, it's like oh. it's it's definitely aged not as well as other things. No, they, it's it's a gimmick without substance. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, it's like, and it's also like almost it's like deceptively deep, you know? Because obviously, yeah. like it's dreams like, whoa, and stuff man. are very very interesting, like stuff. But it's also again, it's like this very um, simple kind of approach to it, where it's like it just becomes like, oh shit, I just died too. <laughs> Was like a, who comes back? I right. do because I you yeah. died second. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Now we're out of lives, and we won't be getting any more. Awesome. Well, we might. Well, I don't know. See if Not get any seventy thousand. But man, I really, I really like the new um, Red Letter Media content. Oh, I, that's great. I they're always good. I, I, because they're filmmakers, so they give a really good. Oh, it's, into that's, it. that's, that's, that's them at my fa favorite is when they're kind of earnestly just talking about like their predictions as to like what they think things are going. Yeah. Um, because I like them a lot. Oh, they're um, great people. And I think they're that so they're, funny. I, and also those, those like, um, Phantom Menace and like the reviews, oh. the Plinkett stuff. It's just really entertaining shit. Well, um, that's what got them. Really oh yeah. And, um, and it's cool to see, um, you know, just their thinking about stuff. Because it's, it's, that's why I feel like I got an insight into their no. creativity. Um, <gasps> Captured which is... me for a second. And then, and then you he died. murdered them. Oh, wow. I've never seen that. Where I got you get out of the tractor beam. you might have a chance such of precise another life, timing. Man. Yeah, challenge stage, dude. You might have a good chance. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, this is the dragonfly level. Impossible. Oh! Whoa, rough. 
Oh my god. Yeah, you gotta learn these levels um, to be yeah, able to nail this stuff, man. You this do. is not... I guarantee you there's people who can do this. With, with one. one ship? Yeah. Um, um, I don't know. I bet you they not can... not on the screen for very long. I bet you they can do it, but it's like Probably. precise. Yeah, you have to be precision to firing. Just nail it, you know? 21 out of 40. Oh my god. Well, I'm Better very close nothing. to 70. Well, you might be... You might come back. There you go. Now I just need to uh, get you captured. This, this level is a really fast dive bomb level. Or just just try to stay alive, man. I would just do that. I think nah. at I think at this point, because the odds of me being able to also like your turn rescue play. you. Oh shit! But you can't rescue me because you know, we're down to zero lives again, and I don't think you get another one for a long time. Another fifty thousand? I think it's every fifty thousand. Shit, man. You can do it. <laughs> oh. You can make it to 120. Yay! 120. Whoa! All you have to do is ace all the all the challenge stages. <laughs> Yay! Oh God! Stage 13. <laughs> that's that's where everything went up. Let me read out um ah, these bots, some of like the general changes. Bombs. Fixed a bug where the colored bars would appear during oh, gameplay shit. if you pressed reset from the splash screen. Wow. That's a very uh, obscure bug. Fix the f order of fly in patterns for uh, four and five on stage one. They were reversed. Fixed a bug where you could fire at the end of the challenge stage results screen. Updated the first challenge stage so it can be completed with double shots with the ship centered without moving left to right. So I guess the fly-ins were not completely accurate on there. Reset the wait delay when selecting options in the UI. Uh, change the title screen to Galagon, of course. That makes sense. Repeat fire response rate faster for difficulty mm, A. So stressed out. <laughs> Removed 150 score during gameplay for killing boss in formation. So I guess the... Oh, God. The amounts were different. Well, 80 isn't terrible. So we're going to change it to challenge mode now, and I'm going to give... Yeah, just COP. Co-op mode? Yeah. Not bad. So, challenge. So you can do challenge two-player co-op? <laughs> Let's do it. Fuck Yeah. That'll be hilarious. Really? That'll be fun. Okay. Let's. I don't know what it'll do, but let's see what happens. Um. So the modified challenge mode. You can start with. You start with sh two ships always. Okay. Because you used to start with one. Um. Two reserves was one reserve, so he gave you an extra life in it. Bonus ships are now rewarded based on score, same as regular mode, so you can earn ships back. The order of the five racks are reversed for challenge stages 9 through 16, 25 through 32. Rack 5 is done first. Note, rack 1 and 5 are the same for all challenge stages. If you have double ships, the per a perfect score, no change. Else, if you have above 38 or equal to 38, uh, you lose one reserve. Um, if you don't have any reserve, lose one of the double ships. Before, you had to get perfect or you would lose a ship. Uh, lose one of your double ships. Now yeah. it goes for the reserve, so you keep your double ships. Okay, that's even cool. If, even if you don't do perfect. If you get close to perfect, you keep the double ships, because it's really hard with one ship. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're... That makes sense. Else, if your ship... Your hits are 30 or above, you lose one of the double ships. If 30... if Else, if it's below 30, you lose both double ships. You know, pff, both gone. Wow. Else, if you only have one ship, a perfect score, you get the double ship back. Or else you lose one ship. Okay. So let's do this. Now we should be co-op. Challenge. Wow. Okay. It says player one. I don't know if that's a bug that needs fixing. Oh, fuck. Let's do it. Come on. We can't lose it. No! We already failed. Oh, no. We're going to lose our double ship. We're going to lose our it's double so, well, ship. But it's such a niche, um, you know, like, thing to learn. It's hard because it's like... I, I still don't even know how to nail this because I just don't know any. Who's of gonna them. die? Probably gonna me. Die. Second player. You bad. You go over there. You're gonna die. <gasps> I died. <laughs> Rip. Oh no. Hey, the captain goes down with his shit. That's true. And now 
It must alternate. So I guess it thinks, oh, I'm player one, and it's your turn. I, I guess to it do gives it. a chance, yeah. yeah. And then I get to play next. You've already said it. This is, but this is a harsh motherfucking thing, man. Hard. I barely even, I barely even played this, you know. That's like death. 29. 29. Rip. So your ship should explode, and it should be me. I'm pretty sure it's you now. Player one? Yes. Okay. Now I will fail as well, because I only have one ship. Against okay, these guys. Oh, we got an extra man. Ah, see, I ah, don't, I don't, did it again. I don't know. Oh, so hard. I don't know if this this co-op thing is the best for this. <laughs> for this levels? I mean, I, it's interesting, like, thing to do, but, like, my, yeah. I think a single double ship that you control is, is much Yeah, better. and it's much closer to, like, what you'll end up doing. So, we know how this works. But it's cool that it's an option. I mean, it would, it takes practice. So, one player challenge. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Now this should start with two Let's find out. ships now. Cool. Yes. Stop. And two of these. It's good to get practice. Yeah, man. You have to anticipate them coming on the screen. It helps a lot. It's the left, and then it comes out the right. Then it comes out the top right. Is that yep. right? And then the top left. Go. Nice. Oh. 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 Oh, God. 36. I think it, it's not nailing it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Modified the turn and attack logic so that half the time it'll track the right double ship if active. Modified enemy missile fire so that half the time I'll aim for the right double ship effect. Bonus ships now awarded at 20, 70, and every 70 after that per the arcade, not every 50. Okay. So yeah, with the co-op mode, he had to say, he had to figure out which which guy it's going to track. So half the time 24! Half the time it's going to aim for the right ship. Yeah. Death. For attack logic and missile logic. Ready. Challenge stage. Okay, three. moved enemies closer together on the first wave of the challenge stage. Uh, change the B, oh, blue B loop pattern so it's not as low, it's close to your ship. Fixed a bug where you could change the skill level by pressing left to right on the credit screen. Don't play the flagship destroy sound after a thousand bonus points on the challenge stage. Stop breathing sound when there are no ships left in formation. Increase the star blinking speed to be better match the arcade. Like, those blinking stars are so awesome. He says, are you on difficulty A so you can refire faster? No, we'll do that next. Um, we're on difficulty B. Uh, added uh, sound effects for selecting skill. Added sound effects for special ships to match the arcade. Scorpion, the boss destroyed special effects. Sound effects. Uh, Galaxian, boss hit once, sound effects, and all others, butterfly, red enemy, destroyed sound effects. So there's, um, some new sound effects in this build. Screw you, lobster. Oh, you missed it. Lobster. See, these have curved tails. They're not lobsters. Oh, no. Scorpions. That's for sure. There's still, I don't know if you there's can... still lobsters to me. Set it to difficulty A right now. I'm gonna fail pretty soon, so yeah, we're. So it's okay, right? <laughs> There's no. Helicopters? They look like helicopters. Get all rotors. They, those are helicopters. Red helicopters. Um. So let's see what the options are here. A or B switch to enable or disable auto fire. A, no auto fire like the arcade. B is auto fire with the button held down, so you should be able to help. But the problem is, is it's just burst burst, right? Yeah. Which actually isn't really like that useful, because. Yes. So A should be no auto fire. I don't know if you can change it mid game. 
Oh, you're done anyway. Yeah. Um, so let's go. So try it out. Not challenge. Just regular. So go to standard. standard. Yeah. Now this should be, you should be able to hold it down, but not auto fire. Yeah. <laughs> Just nothing happens. It's one at a time. Yeah. So. So it's the opposite. Are you in difficult? You can so you can refire faster. Uh, it's about the same. Is it? I mean, if you hit something, you do get your bullet back. You feel you can fire faster? Um, I th I don't know. It, it feels about the same, but I wouldn't be like the person to judge because because right. I'm hardly a Galagon expert. Try firing now. Can you hold it down? Okay, yeah, yeah, I can, but it's kind of like okay. first burst. What about uh, firing with just the button? Yeah, it feels a, like this is so. This is the one with. It's a little slower. It's about the, yeah. I think I think he's right though. I think the other one is a bit better. A little bit faster. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, without the the auto fire. Well, you can pause the game on a Atari seventy eight hundred. Holy shit. Oh no. Pause it with the black and white color. Yay! Switch. That is very cool. Oh, the stars. Oh. The stars keep going. If you do it too fast, it switches. Um, it oh, switches I just which died. Which one it is. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's too bad. <laughs> I had two ships. It's oh, all, no. it's all good. We're just testing. We haven't found any. No, nothing Bugs. really, except for like not displaying Ready Player Two. Yeah, but like that was about the only thing. Does that change that was... anybody's life? No, not really. It's a cool uh, detail you wanna... to add in, but like that's right. And when you start with two ships in co-op mode, it says player Ready Player One, but it's actually both players. I don't know if he wants to change it to Ready Players. That's not that bad. would be good. Ready players. players. Yeah, that would work out really well. Um, we're going to get more into this on Friday cool. as well. Whose day is Tanya. it Friday? Oh, Tanya. Um, but well, I thought I, I would the, show I, this off. I guess that bit. was the marathon was sort of Darcy's. Darcy's day, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, because that's why he was here and that's why I planned it on that day. That makes so, sense. So, so he's naturally here because he's here every two weeks. Two banks does he stay her. over? Yes, he does. Yeah, I mean, I can see, yeah. yeah. Just convenient. Oh yeah, he lives a little ways away. Yeah. I won't say where. But... <laughs> <laughs> Not Vancouver. Not Vancouver. He used to live there. Okay, I think we've gone through everything, so we're gonna move on. Yeah, not a bad idea. To Roach in Space, hey! which okay, is we're... another shooter. We're still in space. I love it. Okay, so if you can hold down the. Got button. it. Oh, actually, no. Whoa. Oh, switch back to. I don't think there's any more two players. Atari box. Yeah, so we can hear the entire box. Got it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got it. Oh, you did it just in time. It was, it was just super fast. Roach in space. So this is another brand new update. <laughs> so a little La Cucaracha. It's got like the, the, re, the, like, the distorted like cockroach, reverb. Is cockroach so... running here and running there. <laughs> The actual lyrics are pretty funny. So this is made by Vladimir Zuniga. Zuniga. Oh, what a name. A.K.A. John Von Neumann, A.K.A. VHZC. This game was first posted in March 22nd, 2019. And this version is from only a couple days ago, July 14th, 2019. It's a 32K game, just like Galagon. Whoa. Oh, okay, I forget. You gotta move the, out of the way I of those. forget about that. They, uh, you can move laterally to yeah. all four directions. Yeah, you're not stuck in a spot like Galaga. Um, he also made Night Guy in Low Res World. Oh, shit. Um, I have to add to that list actually. Um, Ninja, is it Pixel Ninja? Oh my god. Oh yeah. What's the name of that game? Pixel Ninja <laughs> in Low Res World, his sequel. And he also made Peril. Yeah, this this list is very incomplete. 
So you can download this right now in the Atari Age forums. Uh, Thrust says, greetings from Prague. Hey. Welcome, Thomas. He's on his bike tour. Hopefully enjoying your bike tour, man. Yeah. When I was a teenager, I lived in Belgium, and I used to go on like little, tiny little bike tours. Is the oh, beautiful wow. thing about Europe is there's canals, and you can kind of like those, you know, to get to the next oh, do level. I? Yeah, you've been stuck on this level for a while. That. Sorry, you know, oh, oh, uh, your story. Uh, well, the oh, well, there's just canals that you can go because there's these beautiful canal oh, systems, really? and often there's um, uh, like cafes or, or like little hostels along the way. So you can totally, I mean, that's what he's doing, but you can totally just cycle around Europe, oh. and it's one of the best ways to spend time over there. Yeah, it's, and uh, people are so friendly when you're cycling too. Yeah, because like. Um, I think Europeans can get really annoyed with tourists, but if you're like, you're like the coolest person in the world if you're cycling, and you also run into these like real mom and pop shops, because anything that's running mm. along like a, like a canal is, is pretty special and cool. And VH said, C has joined us, the developer. He says, thanks for uh, considering my game for your show. This is release a release candidate. Wow. So it incorporates all the features that will be included in the final version. Four power-ups, Big Roach, Double Roach, Long Bullet, and Homing Bullet. So we have to get those power-ups oh, somehow. Those, oh, yeah, I guess by I... the way, those bullets go to where you are on the screen. So if you wait and then move up or down, you will yeah. avoid them all, all the time. It's hard because as soon as you hang out on yeah. one side, they pop onto the other. <laughs> That's true. They are smart. Oh, this one's... Okay. No. The power-ups can be obtained in the Cosmic Rays rain levels. Levels with thunder sprites shooting four rays. There are four mid-bosses and one final boss. Whoa. I remember this being not as hard. Am I Am I out to lunch? Not as hard? Yeah, I so remember... it's harder now. I remember it being... I think it it's... It was a little hard. It was a little easier, but now it's getting close to the final... Gotta, gotta I think it's particularly the... just that that level's a harsh one because it's just hard to dodge the bullets that are like homing at you while you have to hug the wall and then, you, easy. and then you hang out on the other one. Like I'll oh show my you how God. to do this. <laughs> you, have to, you have to know the pattern. Oh, Jesus. down in a blaze of glory. Um, after every mid-boss you fight, a, a heart item appears. It recovers six hit points in normal mode, three in hard mode, uh, uh, the maximum hit points is eight. If hit points is full, then rest is added as score. So if the the less the hit points you lose, like like see, it's like I hang out on one side and I go to the other, and then I hang out on this side, and it's not, you know, like <laughs> you see, and then I go onto this side, and you get butchered, or I don't get butchered. Like I just don't understand. <laughs> Uh, normal and hard. In hard mode, the enemy waves are longer, recovery items give less hit points, and the borders of the screen will damage you. <gasps> oh, so this is easy mode where the borders don't damage you? Oh, they damage Slam it me. To the side. Okay. Just die, because that, that almost killed me. It's all good. So how do you get into normal mode? We're in hard mode right now. Oh. Oh, okay. Maybe that's, that's why, why it's so much more difficult for you. Struggling. Oh, it's because the last game we had it in A. Oh, and also there's like more room. Check your difficulty switches. Yes. LVH said C is saying you're playing it in hard mode. Okay. Prague is heavily crowded by tourists. Thomas says. Oh, oh. Well, that's a nice time of year there, it's... I guess. It's vacation season for Europeans. Yeah, I guess so. Because they have even very... the even the like canal tours. I guess maybe that's just the way it goes. <laughs> oh. Okay, now it's my turn. Now that I've read everything up. Now this level's really easy. You just stand in one spot. Because the guy goes right in front of you, oh. <laughs> and as soon as you shoot him, his bullet disappears. So you're pretty safe. And his bullet only goes down straight. Oh, this one. Just hang out on one side until it spawns, I guess. Yeah, and then just... I mean, it'll take longer, but you can do it this way. And he'll never shoot you. Just wait, and then move up. There you go. Cool. Now, you're playing in hard mode, so that may be a little more challenging. I think I was just trying to, like, you know... Ah. I was actually trying to just, like, 
just do the game. But in reality, it's like, once again, like everything, if you find like the trick, it's just so much bit better. And really, the trick in this is to avoid the bullets. Yeah. Or I just don't, all, from observation to you know, I don't move that much. Yeah, it's not, not really. It's not really a fast paced because they'll come to you. They and then, will. And, and so the... just hang out, let the thing go, and then it's the and frogger. The, the lower on the screen you are, except for this level, this level is different. He's, he's all over the place. Um, the lower on the screen you are, the more time you have to react to things. So you don't want to move too much up on the screen. Yeah. And always lead the enemy a little bit. Ah, that makes sense. And then you can adjust. You can adjust a little bit. Ah. I don't know when the levels end. When you have, when you've shot enough things, or I think you when have to kill enough. I th I'm pretty sure because, like, you know. I don't know because some levels end when, like, in the middle of shooting something. Ah. Is this where you get power ups? You have to kill the boss, I believe. D? Oh, I like double. Yeah. they're so far apart! Oh my god. They're so far apart. Uh, you just gotta worry about one, and then... Yeah, the I think I'll concentrate on just, just one of them. be like left or right, Ow. and then... Ah, oh you get hit, and it doesn't take your life. Well, that was short-lived, wasn't it? <laughs> ah! Oh! 770, not bad. Love the theme of this game. We need more games with roaches. Yay. In space! That's right, everything's better in space, friends. More. That's okay. Oh, no, please, go. Um. Ah! I want to always get to me the first one. But this game is all about knowing your enemies' patterns. Yeah, once you learn it, and then it's like... Fine. Oh, if you shoot one of them, all the bullets disappear for all three. Wow. So that's a big advantage. Well, this one's a little bit more erratic. Not as great on this level. Yeah, this is a this is a difficulty. This ah, one for sure. Ah. To destroy eleven enemies. Um, for the regular one, and then 15 for hard mode. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. That sounds about right. So does it always switch? Oh, maybe it switches... Ow! Ow! Ah. Oh God. No, it switched right away when I killed my 11th. <laughs> Rapid fire, you're not going to kill anything up there, but it's kind of fun. Oh. That's dangerous. Oh, Hanging yeah. Hanging out too high on this one because they turn into oh, terrible no. fireballs you can't shoot. It's rough. Okay. Got to make it to at least a mid boss. I've made it to where you get a power-up. This is a challenging game. No, no, there you go, yeah. There you go. Now you go. And they are random which side they pick, even though it seems like they're always on the opposite side. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, just they're random. It's just my luck. There you go. Somebody in the forums made a comment about the sound of the bullet that you're firing. And it is advantageous, I find, to just hold down the fire button. Because it's just constant things coming on the screen. Well, yeah. Oh, how see, you, it's hard enough to... How do you feel about the sound of the firing? Um, it's a little, like... It's a bit much. Like, it's quite a long sound. It just becomes part of the thing. I mean, 
I mean, a, it becomes a background of the of the game. It's it's like any retro sound though. Like Pac Man is not like. That's pretty know, relentless too. And and oh. and, uh, and and even Mario like, but so it just becomes part of the, the thing. That's my that's my feeling. Yeah, it doesn't really bug me too much, but I can see how I it mean, might bug some people. I mean, if you had a sound for when you hit, that would be cool. It's like, it does. Bing. It does. Oh, it's like a, it's like a, it's the tiniest. It's like a. It's like, yeah, maybe it's basically the, air like being put into a microphone. Oh. Oh, they just come down further and further. Yeah. But I guess you want your bullet to sound like mighty. Yeah, this but sounds like. But you also want the hit to sound pretty, yeah. pretty decent too. And it does just like. But that's there's nothing wrong with that. No. It's definitely one of the better. Um, I mean, the fact that they've done some sound work that's original is cool. Yeah. Like sometimes there's just not even any sound at all, and that's always rough. Because oh sound God. to me is really what immerses me into stuff. And I think it's interesting because the iconic... Um, this is a hard game. Yeah, man. This is I, hard. I think the iconic things we remember from retro games is actually the sound more than it is. anything. Like Pong, like, you know, like Space Invaders, um, like Pac-Man. That, that's almost what's become more in pop culture than anything else. Sound, sound, smell is number one, I think. Yeah. That is for Remembering. inducing memories. Um, but, but that's so is... specifically it's hard to be like cause you can't like the thing about sound about smell that's tough is that it's so individual like you can't kind of like collectively go so, like this sound induces this memory in everyone yeah you know, it's some like, people might be like reactive very negatively I think the only like siblings are about the only people that would know like smells doesn't this smell like that and they'd be like yeah <laughs> yeah because you grew up with them close to them but like there's experience. a collective sort of you know united feeling of like oh yeah we all know what a tie fighter sounds like and a lightsaber and like you yeah. know when i was young we used to live by a park that had massive amounts of lilac bushes so i hate the smell of lilac because it reminds you of of being a child no well, it reminds <laughs> me of smelling it all summer long yeah and never be able to get away from it it was just it's so uniquely it's bad like, oh my god the overwhelming smell of lilac and it's such a strong smell too it's either there or it isn't. Uh, VHZC uh, is not apologizing for the hardness of this game. Hey man, that's all good. He says shmups have to be hard, and I I totally agree. Like it should have a challenge. Like you should have to practice at this game and not be handheld through it. Well, yeah, it's cool. Like I I definitely feel my skill improving, which is yeah. actually part of the pleasure. Because um sometimes if it's too I mean, feeling like you have to just get better because your skill yes. isn't there is a cool place to be with a game. I think That's a lot exactly. of games are are a little too on the uh, on either end where it's like, oh my god, I'm never gonna have to like, I'll have to like make it a part time job to be able to play this. <laughs> like, fuck that. Or it's like, oh my god, it's I just beat it. Yes. So yeah. it's, it's finding this, that balance. And this is in that right spot where I can look at each of these levels and go, yeah, I could get through this level. Without dying, without getting hit. Oof. Yeah. Fireball. You did really well. Way better that time. Yeah. Still easier than Eggventure. Eggventure is death. Death is everywhere in Eggventure. That's right. We actually played version one. Really? Of Eggventure. Version two is even harder. Is oh. a lot easier. Okay, good. And we totally missed. Maybe it wasn't in version one. In version two, you can actually bomb things from above oh that would change it yes that would change it a lot it still is deadly uh like you touch things you die i did feel like i didn't have the tools i needed yes you know yeah like bird person needs like a <laughs> like an ak-47 or something you need some weapons you know so he does he actually does um so he posted version two online for people to play he's put it back up um, and he's working on version three of it. Ooh! So we will be playing that. So it's going to be a soon. hell of a leap. See, I didn't kill for us. any of those pipes, and I still got passed through. What? It's like a combination of time and how many you kill. These are just a barrage because there's three of them, and they just cover the screen in bullets. They say eggs is one of the foundations of, of video game design. Eggs? Yeah. 
the, so. the idea that you get an item that needs incubation and then reveals mm. itself to you. If you think about Pokemon, is ultimately yes, all about yes. that. Uh, Tamagotchis 100%. are all about that. Oh, there's a God. lot of there's a lot of like and how the idea of and it's also again like games played it un, under your primal level. The idea that you like are given something that you then nurture, but then is needs perfect. protection, but then sprouts into something powerful. Right. You know, it's, it could be you. In in you, you could would be the player. I would, as you power up. I would argue that Galaga has an egg in it, in that you absorb your ship, it becomes vulnerable, and then you fight for it, and you're rewarded with an unhatching of a second ship. It's like a, philo a philosophy yeah. of, like, you have to, like, first, you know, it's like, because because what that does is it gives you something to build towards, but it begins with, you know, but there's a risk in it. And also... Yes, the risk-reward in Galaga is very nicely balanced, so that you have... You can sacrifice a ship to gain more power, and it's um uh, and it, and it's it's very interesting because it's like you know oh, and we I'm like that we level. like the idea of like having to protect Damn something it! that will then like pay off, which is cool. If, if, like egg oh venture. yeah. I hope you make it a bit easier. Amen, Impaler. Amen. <laughs> uh, which egg venture? Yeah. Oh yeah, that definitely needs to be easier. Less dying on touching things, or I don't know what. Oh my god, this level just takes away all my health. I'm only able to pick off one safely, and then avoid the second one. But at least I'm getting that now. There we go. So I think that's my strategy for the next time I next go around. one's pretty bad pretty easy yeah well it's like staying on the right side of it um yeah and then kind of leading it this one's, this one's just like this you one's challenging you basically you just you have to stay underneath them but then get out of the way too. basically you just have like only a, yes. a minute to kill them and then you just don't you, worry you have two about seconds it. then get out of the way yeah that's a good strategy for this one because yeah. it can only you can only kill it what is at the top of the screen yeah yeah that's yeah so that's this one's pretty easy ah this one is just yeah oh oh which one do i want i don't know where they are b big bug there's uh, some benefits and there's some disadvantages you know yeah oh oh no that was another short lived so this is like that other level ah but it's moving faster i think oh it's coming down lower more often i think I'm gonna stay on the right side of the screen. Does it only come from the left? Yes. Well, it's actually now that I'm looking at it, it oh. has. Um, it seems to have almost set like intro places it goes. Like you see, there's a it, line that it, it almost. Down? It seems to consistently hit the same spot, actually, which is really. Is this the one where you have to kill three. Well, I think it's. Oh. Yeah. I think that one's actually more predictable now that I think about it. And it might... is. I think it just comes down the screen. Yeah. yeah. No, this is just random. How many you get? Yeah. I'm making it further. Progress. Yay. Oh, Alert. Mid boss. Okay, so I think we got some. Kill, kill, kill. Okay, what does he do? He bounces completely around the screen. Whoa. It's nice when he's low, like but it's that. dangerous. Because you can do rapid fire. Oh yeah, man! Like bad. anything, patterns. Okay, I'm fine with that. Give me that heart. Yay! Health is back. Bam! Nice. Oh, of course uh, I wasted immediately. Yeah, but this is. Uh, Oof. Oof! They're tiny. Whoa! Oh my god! god the character design is so good in this, it man. It is really, really good. Oh, just absorbing damage. Oh. Oh. I'm just not going to deal with them when they get low. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go around them. Pick off what I can. Then go around because they're just too angly to deal with. I love the variety in this game. And, and trying to figure out 
how to defeat each of the waves. Like, each of them is, it takes a totally, whoa, 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 okay, they go back up. Whoa. Totally different strategy. These are like dragons, these ones. Nope, chickens. Space chickens. Hey, chickens. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Oh, God. Yeah. One, one life left. One thing left. Oof. Oh no, they got the farthest you've gotten now. Pretty though. good. VHZC even said nice. Yeah. Should I do one more? Or should we move on to the. Uh, you do one more. Only in the pipes level can you pass the wave destroying or avoiding. Okay. Since the second wave, I wanted to maintain the thing easier. Tray guy goes, yeah, yeah. Scum software goes, heart. Moth, space moths. So it's not space chickens. Space oh. moths. <laughs> They look like space chickens to me because they're yellow. Even though a lot of chickens are really yellow. Mostly white. Yes. They're always portrayed as yellow. Oh my god. I guess baby chickens are more yellow. Oh no. Yeah, always lead these guys. No, don't follow them. You never catch up. If you lead them, you'll never get hit. Oh, this is the this is a tough one. I'll only pick off one and move out of the way. Oh. Stay in the middle, pick off the side one, move out of the way. Start in the middle. No. Well, it ain't easy. Nope. It ain't easy being a cockroach. Space cockroach no, man, fighting when for you're your stuck life. turning into fireballs. Okay, I think that's about as <clears throat> good stuff. So that is great. I'm looking forward to the Fuck full yeah, release man. of it and trying to make it to the that end. One's in. I'm trying to do a complete run of that. Hell yeah. I think I'd buy that. I think, I think so I'd too. Buy it. And I also, it, I mean. it has a, a long playability factor. It's such a, um, it's such a tricky one too. Oh, sorry. I should have just kept the control. Uh, oh, I'm handing it over to you. Yeah. So the next game we're going to be playing. So thank you, VHZC. Yeah, thanks so much, man. I mean, to, to, to me, I'm just blown away by the character design of that one. Like yeah. that's the the unbelievable side of it is building all these very different levels and like yes. different it's bosses. It's not just repetitive and... over and over again. It's it, I know why it's a 32k game because of all the patterns that you have to yeah. involve, all the graphics, all the movement, um, and just the the pure length of it. Like we made it one third of the way into the game. That's oh, yeah. it. So there's a lot more to go. So great stuff. Can't wait for the, the final release of that. I, I didn't find any bugs. No, it was none. I found like, one bug. Ah. <laughs> Knew it. Sorry, Knew friend. It. It's too easy. Um, so we're going to be playing Nano Wing by Brian oh, cool. Shia, a.k.a. Metal Babble. Metal Babble? Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Who made BitQuest. Should Bit I wait or, or jump no, in? No, jump in. Who made BitQuest, BitQuest 2, which we played the hell out of. Fishy, Whoa. Flappy the Duck. Yeah, you want to press a button. This is uh, headache inducing. Uh, Flappy the Duck, Nano Wing, which we're playing. Neko 2600. Oh. Pothole, Sand Castles. Jesus Christ. Okay. Snow Dogs and Stardust. And you can download this from his website, atari.metalbabble.com. Oh. Uh, okay. So this is put out sometime in 2017. It is a 4K game. Nano Wing is described as a random, don't crash into things space type game. It's a prequel to the 2005 oh, uh, Metal Babble game Nano Wing. Avoid the obstacles while hurtling through hyperspace. Yeah, it's purely avoid everything. I, I was, I was gonna say it's purely luck. Uh, Jesus Christ. A little bit. Yeah. Like, look, I made it the farthest because I got nothing. But, but then, like, <laughs> how is that not luck? Because literally I spawned and I was instantly hit by like a guy. Can you move faster by holding the button? No, there is nothing. There is up and down. Nothing. No left, right, no up, down, no button. So it's only up and down. So like right now you're nailing it. I have practiced a little bit. But. It doesn't help practice. It really. It's very random. Very luck based. Like every screen that you encounter. Like nailing it. <laughs> Is um is randomly chosen, and whether there's a UFO on it, I think is also like random. this is a tricky one. Yeah, it's not much space. This one you have to move. Ah, oh! twelve. Twelve. 
BHZC, I love these types of games, he says. They are very challenging, um, especially oh. the randomness of it. And it's very similar to yours in the way that each level is very different. Hell yeah. I mean, you don't know which one. See, like that was that was just bad. You get another go for that one. Because I'd say mm -hmm. this. <laughs> but like that's, do you see like because of where I entered into that screen, there was literally like. Usually the um, center is a good place to stay, but maybe just off center because of that level. But that might have been, but it just depends, <laughs> right? You, like, like see if I'd come at the top of the screen nailing it. I, but if you came in at the bottom, it was imp it's impossible. Yeah, yeah, it would have been. Like, whoa, see? Should I stay just above? It does. There's no way to know. It's... <laughs> this is... Shoot it, shoot it! No. Like, see, now you're nailing it, but like... But if that UFO was coming out of the middle of the screen, and like, like that, now, if he appeared right at that opening, I may not have been able to get through that opening. And in theory, every level could be a blank level. It could be. And in theory, you blank. could instantly die because of where oh, you spawn. It's crazy game. On one more. I would prefer not random patterns. See, like, look like, how... I don't even know if that was possible to get through that. He was in the middle of that somewhat narrow opening. So there is a... <laughs> I don't think I would ever... I would ever make a game where a level would literally be impossible to get past. Yeah. Well, this is one where it's, it is like, there's, there's like so many, um, pitfalls in this one. Cause see yeah. that one is like, because you were near the top of the screen, you had a chance, but yes. if you were the bottom, right? No chance. And... No chance at all. Okay. So in theory, I think I should do, I was going to try to scoop down because oh, yeah. I was trying to like get clever. Yeah. Cause some of them place you really high up. Like I'm going to be center. So like, see, center seems to be like it's the most safe. Like there's because you don't know what you're it's getting. It's the best bet, but then you can't necessarily. You can't guarantee yourself to even start it. So center. like, I'm gonna try to do center. See, now I'm doing great, but like, is that? <laughs> oh, that guy comes out at the same spot. But then that's also like the only spot I could do to not die. Whoa. It's like buildings. I mean, the level designs are, are very creative. <laughs> oh, uh, man, this is such a troll game. I love it. It is. Oh, you gotta just move right away. Yeah, you As soon got. as you pass that top part. So, in theory, the center is ideal, I think. But... Yeah, on average. On average. That was death. That's, no chance. That's the thing. That is completely... Because that UFO is randomly placed. And there's no way to avoid that. Like, no. you just don't know. No predicting. Oh, that was just my fault. Because sure, coming through the middle, awesome. So playing this game long enough, you will die. Yes. Like, it's just no chance of 100% surviving eventually. Like, you will run into something. This does feel like one of the most RNG games I've ever played. <laughs> yeah. So interesting. And uh, it's interesting to see an RNG game in this genre, because you don't see that as much. No, you don't. It's usually oh. uh, RPGs, not space... Flyers? Not yeah. shooter. It's not really a shooter. It's fairly un space, unusual. Um, space flying game. So yeah, you're killing it, but like that's... You need to be one pixel lower. Hell of a threshold. I got eight. 12, 12 is maximum. It's a very quick game. So if you want a game to just pick up and play, yeah, this that's for this sure. does. I always say this reminds me of like flash games that I used to play yeah. in the library. You know, things that you would sort of like pick up, play, you try it out, and then someone hits says, "Hey, we gotta go back to class." Oh, sorry, you got. You know, I mean, it's a very quick. Seven. Twelve Eight. is the record. Gotta get to thirteen. Yes. One more. But see, there oh, you. Oh, I should have gone up. But that's an interesting one because if you had done that one and then the opposite thing, yeah. so th th there are spawning levels that are just impossible. Thrust said some better controlled randomness would help, or an indicator where to go to the next screen, like where to place yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Because that wouldn't be too much to put. Whoa! You just almost died. Yep. Some, for some reason, you didn't die. 
because that UFO is right on top of you. Oh, gimme. made it to 12 well yeah i just got scared because i saw the thing and i never and i haven't in... seen that level before <laughs> oh. uh iam lem lem callister it's hard to tell Whoa. interesting competition game since a player can't memorize patterns That's good that point. is true i don't know if it's a good competition game. Though. i think it's a if you got like say ten tries or something, you wouldn't be able to give them like one or two because that's like that. So what if you got two in a row like that? You'd be out of the competition. So here's the thing, James. Yes. I think I figured out what this game needs. <laughs> what does it need? It needs to like move way slower at the beginning and get faster and faster, so uh, that there's a chance to dodge some of this stuff. You know, like and then if you hold down the button, you can go fast because I think what that would do is that at least the first like 10 levels would be doable like because if you were slower yeah. you could actually like dodge yeah. through some of the stuff and then each time it went faster so that there's like a... but then it just eventually gets into impossibleness yeah maybe something like you can like pause yourself by pressing the button oh but even then but then that's too cheesy that's just like watching your own death because like if you <laughs> pause because there's a lot of level things here that if you pause yourself you would just die like you would just be like 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 some of these levels are just impossible if you spawn in the wrong spot or thomas's suggestion of a safe place to come out on the next level or yeah. it just scrolls along which is a totally different game though the what surprise is part of the game it is part of the game so you can't really take that away no it's, it's a tricky it's a tricky one it's, it's an interesting game this one because it, it it bugs me that there's i can't really find an approach no it feels it, it feels like throwing the ball on like a little roulette wheel and just sort of being like fuck yeah i got a <laughs> six like it, it yeah, feels exactly. gambly what to score me. am i gonna get out of 20 yeah it's kind of you know and I don't know how to change that. I mean, it's charming. It's unfair, but we, we continue to play it to try and get higher scores. We're not yeah. Like, we're not like, forget this game, it's over. We're but like moving on. I think that, like, I don't know if I would, like, leap to my controller and be like, yeah, I want to play it again. This would be a fun troll game to, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know... To, to give to someone and be like, I'll buy you... If you uh, get 30. If you get 20, I'll buy you, like, <laughs> oh. dinner. And then just, like, leave and do your own get, thing. And just them watch them just their lose hair. their minds. Being like, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't get 20. I'm just, I, just I got 19, 19 is the best I can I can't get 20. <laughs> That's what I... Oh, you know what? You could have lives. Or allow, allow health. So you can crash into some things. But that still doesn't solve it. It just delays your death. But at least then it's like... You need a way to actually be able to dodge everything. Anything that's thrown at you. Like, there has to be some like element... Like that is a, a great you know. example of where that was impossible. And it was yeah. just, there's no way to really... That's another one. I impossible. Am the, I am the height of that opening like... that he's left me. That one wasn't impossible, but totally improbable. Because <laughs> I'd like half a second to place myself perfectly. I, I don't know how to solve it. The problem that makes this game kind of good is also, also its problem. Yeah, it's really... You know, it's tough. And then, and then the thing that's so, like, annoying about it is that, let's say you get 13. Yeah. Well, it's like, but was that skill? Was that, like, how did that happen? You know, like... Yeah, it wasn't skill. It's like, luck, yeah. because I played it... I can play all these levels. So I moved down. And you, and but I you just, have. but but or you or maybe that was the best choice because maybe the other one would have been better. That's the thing exactly. that uh, there's no way to sort of predict. Fifteen is fifteen is the top score. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I do that too. I try and like just get on the edge of things. Let's see, that's 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 probably one of the hardest levels right there mm -hmm. because it's just you just have to 
be like a little bit, at, just a little bit above halfway. Yeah. And so like these levels easy, or or not. And that one and it appears at different places too. So like like that's that that's one probably one of the roughest ones. It is that UFO likes to be in that little that little corridor at the beginning. Scum Software says no, is my internet's flaking out. It's oh a no, ma a masochist's scum. game. Thomas it, says. It truly is. Impaler just says oh. lol. <laughs> yeah, man. Just a lol. 15's good score, though. I mean, I, I think don't so. think... I don't know if we're beating 15. No. no. I'm, I'm done. I, I'm happy with my 15. Yeah. I got That's 12, I think. Was, did you? Was, was my best, yeah. Yeah, you did. That's right. Oh... <laughs> it is a one more type of game. It really is. It's weird one more. Because... But I don't, I don't, I don't feel happy. <laughs> no. I feel, I don't feel angry. I feel. I feel frustrated. I feel sad. Yeah. Like I feel, I don't know. It's I. It, and even the title screen, Nano Wings. <laughs> Gaspar Noé. Uh, it really title is. Screen this is crazy. You. This is a total, man, this is totally one of those. The only thing that I can think of about this game is just to try to make someone, one of your friends, just have to beat a certain yeah. score. Get and 25. Put, get 25 and I'll buy you a beer. Like, and I only just, made it 15. 20. 20, I 20, think. 20 would be the troll thing because yeah. it's just close enough that you think you could do it. It's reachable. It's like that that cheap, and dude, that, that cheap game, that jumping sheep. It's yep. Like, oh, yeah, get just get five. Oh, easy, Even man! If five you five is hard. Oh, wrong. What's it called? Static sheep, velcro sheep, Something. sheep jump, sheep jump. Like, see, rip. Hard, hard, hard. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. That's like one of those games too that if you got twenty, you earned it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you, you earned it. Too luck based for uh, sure. Oh, yeah. It is, yeah, and so that's. It's a neat lesson though in, in game design how it if is. you drift too far towards luck, it just as a player, it's not fun. No, too much luck is not fun. Some elements of luck is good. Luck that kills you randomly is not a fun element at all. That yeah. is not should not be the luck. When there are like pieces that go together that fundamentally cannot work. Yes. And there's nothing you can do to control that. And they're very frequent. <laughs> like every five levels. Uh -huh. Then it's one button met Bob. Is this our... One button Bob. This is a quick, quick game. There you go. Oh, you did it. So you can guess this is a one button game. And it's it's there is no instructions, really. It's just. Ah, uh, I see. Um, this is based on a Flash game, which I did not look at and will not load because I don't want to install Flash anymore because it's not maintained and could be full of terrible, terrible bugs. Not a bad idea. So Wait, you, did I beat it? So you got 20, I think. Unfortunately, it. Uh, yeah, you did beat it. So. Really, the only goal is to do it in the least amount of moves. This is like golf. Yeah. I think you got 20. Okay. And there is definitely a... You, you got blessed that time, but I didn't look at it. I should remember that the, the moving thing is the last level. I think you got 15? Yeah. I'm... I just included this because of the really unique concept of... Each level is different, but each level only uses one button. But it uses them completely differently each time. 17. I know you can, <laughs> I know you can do better than 17. Ten. Okay, now it's my turn. Yay! Unfortunately, well, it's just it, no matter what you do, I have do, to play it once. Because you have to anticipate. I like 
I like Bob's Oops. design. <laughs> I like how Bob is. I think Bob's in profile. Like I think yes. he's got two eyes. He's just facing. Ah! I've already wrecked my game. Oh, I did that every time. Oh, I was trying for a tricky one. I'm wrecking it. This is the for sure the hardest one. I don't want to use two button presses, but I already might as well do it because I already wrecked it. Oh my god. Why is this so hard? Yeah, it's deceptive, man. It's patience. Once you it's get doing, the first one, you just hang out. Just fine in Stella. F U. Well, the problem is, is it doesn't it give you a, it doesn't give you a chance to like really. You basically have to be like prepared to like. Come on, I want to do this level in two button presses. You got this. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, it's just. Two. Seven. Anything short. I think you could do it in one less. I think you could do it in six. It's that bat because it restarts. Here, I'll let I'll restart it for you. Ready? Hold on. Got it. There, because you only need one for the bat. Oh. Oh no. That's okay. VHC. It looks kind of fun. Sort of a a bit trip runner. So I think my game doesn't look so hard now. <laughs> Good job. Seven. Okay. Hey. Oh, hold on. I'm just... I'm almost there. Seven again. You can do it in six? Um, theoretically? I think. Because this takes two. So this is one, two, three... Four, five, six. Yeah, you can do it in six. See, the problem is you hold down the button. You have... No, I think you have to do it in seven. Because to finish this level, you have to keep holding down the button. And then it automatically throws something at the bat, which misses the first time. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna see if I can Seven. do it. I don't think you can. You're gonna let go of the button as soon as you. Can. No. No, because it comes instant. through. Yeah. It's instant. Fuck. So we both won the game. Yay! Fuck yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! Tried the bite bit trip games. Um, I, I have bit trip uh for PS4. Um, I believe. Yeah, I do. Uh, um, and it's really fun, and they're very simple, simple, simple games. Yeah, was it with lots of refinement? This could be a good game. Agreed. Agreed, and it just needs a lot more levels. Oh yeah, and it doesn't need to. It shouldn't reset immediately. No. And Conceptually, it's really cool, and possibly it should have lives, so you don't have to complete the game yeah. every single time to reset it. Um, so that's why I, I wanted to showcase this. Yeah. Because I want somebody to take this concept and expand it to like 30, 40 levels. Hell yeah. And you could do lots of things with this. One yeah. button Bob. <laughs> one button Bill. One button Bill. <laughs> one, bu one button Sue. One button, uh, what's a B name? That's not terrible. Like One button Bertha. Bruce. Like a female B, B name. One button Beth. Beth's not bad. Still a little old fashioned. What's a new one? Britney. That's like yeah, a 90s one button, name. One button Britney. <laughs> yeah, that's like we're going to merchandise this with some pink <laughs> that's right. florals. Lots of sequels. One button in low res world. That's yeah. Right. One, one button Bart. That's <laughs> right. Go. But I just, I just really love the concept. Yeah, it's nice to sort of like simplify it down to just its bare minimum. I love so that. I know this is not much to look at and not much to play, but sometimes I, I pick games not based on what they are, but what they could be. Absolutely. 
and concepts that I've never seen in a 2600 game before. And this is something I this have feels not like seen. incomplete because it's like first attack, you go into the castle, then you like dodge the like guillotine, and, yes. and then you just like go across a bridge and back to the beginning. Like, it feels like there's something one button, two button boogaloo. Oh, that's the sequel for sure. That's, that's that is the <laughs> sequel. Okay, let's get to the last okay, game. Okay, cool. Which is a paddle game. Oh, actually, a paddle and joystick game. Oh shit! Yes. Do you have to do both at a the same two time. Player. Oh man. Okay. And it is brand new. Um, so I'll plug these in after I've loaded the game because it's always for a... some reason it doesn't give. It doesn't like it. Got it. Uh, oh, for a second. oh, what a what a pleasant sound. Should I jump Star in? Wars, NTSC, yep. Whoa, okay. I got an idea of what this might be. I think so, huh? The unbearable lightness of one button. <laughs> That's true. I'll plug this in. So, player one is one of those. Okay. Don't know which one because they're not labeled. They should be like paddle one and paddle two, but they're not. Um, so this uh, programmer, oh, let's just uh, read off what's going on. Let's put it up on the screen first so you guys can see the nice title screen. Drone Wars, made by JJG. Jesus uh, Jimenez. Jimenez? Yeah. Yeah. AKA Jesus98 on the Atari Age forums. Sick. This is Drone Wars this year, 2019, work in progress. First posted on Facebook, uh, July 14th, 2019. He announced it. Oh my God. And this build is from July 16th. It's a 16K game. Uh, it's his first, as far as I can tell, Atari 2600 game. I, I looked wow. uh, all over the place, couldn't find anything else. You can download it on the Atari Age forums. It says, I'm glad. This was the fa first Facebook post. And he did join us earlier today. I don't see him posting anymore. Him yet, Maybe he's lurking. Okay. Um, he says, I'm glad to present my first Atari 2600 game. So that, that confirms it. That will be available very soon. It's the first 360 degree paddle game ever created, I think. So oh, it's got some unique stuff. Ooh. Uh, it's the year 2029, near future. And the second Cold War has arrived. You are a Soviet sentry bot that, defend, yes. that defends the KGB headquarters in USSR. Uh, so they, USSR is back. It's back yeah. Again. They've, they've <laughs> reunited all these tiny countries and taken them all back, which they want to do, apparently. Oh. Um, your aim is Everyone to, wants to build an empire. Yeah. It's never good. No. They've all been torn down. They have been. The uh, British Empire, the Russian Empire... I don't know what other empires were there. There's um, uh, uh, a the, Chinese empire. Oh, there's so many. Yes, they've lost some. Of oh, definitely. Yep. Um, I mean, there's Turkish. US, there's US empire. Like, US had some. I mean, the US the is an empire, actually. Unto itself. If you think about United States, that's yeah, the crazy part. It had 50 unique states, and they all joined together. So and there's such a... And I, I, a they're holding takeover. together like, uh, you know... <laughs> <laughs> like, a, uh, I don't know, like Not, large stack of oranges on a bumpy cart. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel as united as it could be. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Mother your aim is to kill the waves of enemy drones that want to destroy your KGB headquarters. But if you, if you think that the building will be destroyed in a few moments, don't panic. You can always detonate an M-O-A-B. You know what that stands for? M-O-A-B. No. Mother of all bombs. Oh, there we go. And we'll it's like a BFG. Yes. And we'll destroy all the surrounding buildings where all the North American secret agents are controlling the drones, also destroying yourself. So it's like, yeah, I'm going to die. Um, feedback will be appreciated, and in a few days I'll post the first beta in Facebook and the forums. Sick, man. So that's what we have here. It says, hi, I'm glad to present a game developed by me. It's almost done. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost done. But if you if you find some bugs, report them here. I'd love to do. I loved to do a paddle game because there are very few out there. Yeah, man, I'm I'm very on board few. with that. Paddle games are fun. Great controller. Oh, very yeah. unique. And because I think it's the only paddle game with character 360 degree movement. Holy that cow. is true. I don't remember another one that goes around in a circle. Oh, well, they all go back and forth. That 
um, in uh, Medieval Mayhem, it goes in a quarter circle. Yeah, it's like an arc. Almost an arc. Mostly flat on the sides. Um, but not a complete circle. But there is a caveat. His does not go in a complete circle. Interesting. Um, if he used the driving controller, he could. Whoa. These have limits. These go... These oh. have hard limits. Driving controller keeps spinning. So if he changed over to the driving controller, but it has less resolution. So it's a big Gain trade some, you lose some, right? So maybe There's it'll no... work with the driving controller. Maybe not. Anyway. In this game, uh, move the paddle to move the Soviet sentry bot and surround the central building, KGB headquarters. You start with 10 points per drone killed, but as you kill more and more, this will grow up to 30 points per drone. If you want to detonate the MOAB with a paddle button, eh, all will blow up. But you get 100 points for doing that. So it's not <laughs> bad. You so trade you, your life for 100 points. So if you think you're done, definitely do it. In order to start another game, push the reset button. Mm. Never awesome, but that's okay. That's <laughs> yeah. okay. Um, you should, what you should do is, yes, people will press a button to end the game. Put a delay in so they can unpress it and then allow them to press it to restart the or game. Or back to menu Always. and then back to game. Yeah. Something to sort of mitigate. Some delay so it doesn't restart immediately while you're pressing it. Um, to go to the main menu, push the select button. There are two game modes. Okay. Single mode, left difficulty and switch B, which it is. We'll start with that one first. The drones will respawn automatically in one of the four streets. Multiplayer mode, left difficulty switch in A position. That's when I come in. The drones will respawn manually in one of the four streets by a second player. Ooh. Controlling a joystick in the second jack, selecting the street that he wants. He... What if it's a female player? Come on. They want. General, hey, gender neutral. Pronouns. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's everything you need to start playing the game. Feel free to post your comments about this game. Okay. We'll do more than that. We will play it live. Holy okay. shit. Okay. So, I don't know. You can't start it. So, let's figure out which one it is. Start, start moving that dude. Okay. Spin it right around. Right around. There you go. You oh. found it? Which one is which it? Which one is it? I think it's this one. Okay, put the other one down. Okay. You won't need that. Okay, ready? Yeah. Do, 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 so what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to hit these things? Can you fire? Oh yeah, that's death. Yeah, you hit them. So you take them out. So oh, it's I kind see. of like Kaboom, except in a circle. Very much like Kaboom, except there's no patterns. 120. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no, what's happening? Oh, I should have pressed your button. Okay. Cats, oh. cats, come in here and press reset. That's not awesome, especially for this game, uh. the reset side. That would Boo. be. Boo, Jesus. Always, number one rule of homebrew, have the button reset the game. Please, please. We should make like a manifesto. Oh, clockwise with, is it backwards to what you think? Um, or no, it... it's fine. It's just, it just is a bit, um, is it? Yeah, I think is it clockwise is. clockwise clockwise or is it anti-clockwise? It, is it backwards? I think it might be backwards actually. Because he says I can switch it to black and white. Oh yeah, that's easier for sure. You should make the other one the default, I would think. I think you should switch it so everybody usually has it on color. See, cool thing about the paddles is they're unique, but bad thing about the paddles is like my skill on them is not great because it's just like, you know, it's a controller so that I've maybe played like three, <laughs> like, you know, dozen yeah. times in my life. Like, I feel like when I have that Genesis, like the, the actual like Genesis controller, like the NES style one, yep. I do better at every game because it's just, I'm more comfortable with it. Game reset? Uh, yeah, let me try the one player. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Ah. Ah, but I like that. I like having to learn how to play a new thing. I think that's the interesting part of like playing these games is that it's fun playing, um, doing really well, but it's just natural. Like you know, I've had controllers in my hand my whole life. 
pretty much. Right. Versus yeah. like I've never paddle. I'm like never, never had that. So it's so cool to have yeah. to learn something new. Especially the trackball games were so much fun for oh, that. That was really. I was different. like, I was like, whoa! I've never done anything. Uh, like this. Seven forty. I made it to the second level. Oh, that's good. Ah. Ah. That good this time. <laughs> Doesn't seem like I am. A, sometimes it's a little bit like you know, it, it, it's it's not super precise, but it's also like I bet you you could get there. It's just a matter of like practice. Very sensitive. Uh, I think maybe the sensitivity is too high. Yeah. Like it's. I mean, the, the potential so for sensitive. getting really good at it is 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 high though. Yeah, that's the thing. If you have the sensitivity high, that means you can move really fast, but it's also it moves really fast. Luckily, this paddle is very good. It's not jittery. Or else you'd be seeing it. Oh, yeah. Going all wonkery. Oh, good work. What is going on? I couldn't make it all the way over. Oh, Hi, no. I always forget to press the button. One more time. 440. Did not do as well because I didn't start off very well. Oh, thanks. The reset will help, especially for this game. Because oh, I yes, think please. some games reset is cool, like an RPG that's super long. That's fun. It's if like you're who playing cares? for like 20, 30 minutes, it's fine. But, but this is definitely a bit of a rinse repeat game. Yeah, shorter, shorter games have to have the reset. I like the sounds too. The burp, burp, burp. Oh, I blew it up. Yes. Got my extra points. So when you're down to one, oh. one life left, one little bar, then you may as well just get your finger ready. Just call it a day. Yep. See, this is when you need like upgrades or something. Yeah. yeah. What kind of upgrades? Do we? Do, something to modify it, right? Yeah. I don't know what you could do guy could get bigger for like a period of time so you can cover like more surface area yeah that would definitely help or you could get like uh two of them ah. oh 720 okay so let's go to two player now so switch the left difficulty to a yeah okay and that's it sick okay game reset yeah so now you should be able to control which street they come out of Oh, you don't control the speed. Uh, it's random speed. Oh. And you don't control exactly where they come out of on the street, right? <laughs> There's only one oh, way no. to do this. I do, it is. Because <laughs> surely everything else. this is the most that's the hardest yeah that's uh, that's an issue okay should i reset yeah yeah you reset i would really really investigate whether the driving controller is good enough for this it is very low resolution though so it may not be because then you could have the guy spin all the way around and this kind of tactic with two players which is the best tactic it's just back and forth. Well, it just forces you to have to go, like, really as far as possible. Oh, and then you throw a loop. Yeah, you can throw, it off, throw me off for a little bit. It's like, oh, I'm expecting him to go. Well, maybe it's not too bad then. Because you can get me used to doing something. And then you're like, no. No, we're not going to do that. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, it's fine. There's tactics. I realize because the there's button. a rhythm you can do, actually. Yeah. Ah, okay, let's switch. Okay. Because, yeah, there's, uh, there's, some, there's some tricks. Oh, thank you. Ready? Yeah. Oh, what? It's backwards? Yeah. Oh! Hey, Sue, stop... Stop doing that backwards thing. Up is down, down is up. But it's like left the, is right. It's right like is... the direction it's shooting now. It's yeah. weird. Oh, it, I see. You see so oh. that, it, it, you just have to wrap your brain around it. That's fine. Never, never mind. I it's can like it's, it kind of makes sense. Then. Yeah, it's because it 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 is like um.
<laughs> yeah, you can uh, can be deceptive. I'd still change it. To left to right, because I'm still having trouble when it's it's fast moving. I don't know. We just what have to imagine you just have to imagine like I'm shooting that way. Exactly. You're doing really well. I don't know about that. It's like... You're getting all of them. Everything I throw at you. Oh, see, it's faster now. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Oh, right. I like the concept. My first attempt program 2600 was a similar concept, but with joystick controller, only four positions. I didn't know how... I didn't think about the paddle. Yeah. In the next update, I will let reset to the paddle button. Excellent, excellent. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's what we need. Should we do another one? Yes. Because you were kicking ass. Ah, uh, we'll see. It's because... Uh, You're getting, definitely getting a handle on the paddle. Yeah, I'm better. I feel like sometimes I nail it, and then sometimes it just I have to like wrap my brain around it, you know? Yeah. Because like, sometimes I feel like it's like I'm in a groove. The size of the guy is pretty good. Yeah, because he's too just big. big. Too yeah, he, yeah, he's like just big enough to be like. Okay, my turn yeah. again. I think you got like seven something. Or... Oh yeah, something like that. You could. Um... Make the right difficulty switch. Um, change the aiming posi aiming uh, directions for player two, so you can give them the option if they don't like it. Just like changing the uh, paddle direction for player one. Seven sixty. Not bad. Not bad. Excellent. I think we're good on this one. Yeah, man, definitely. Good start to the game. Um, I think it needs needs something to like keep to, you going. Yeah, that that needs that can enhance the game, like power ups. Power ups would Some help. Some kind of power up. I don't know what it does, but it can come out randomly. Um. Or different kinds of missiles, like ones that zigzag, uh, things that maybe do like a circle. Yes. Some that are like faster, the but bigger. Of them. Like or something to make it, because at the moment it feels a little too um, repetitive. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe block blocks off a hallway temporarily. Oh, that would be oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so a really good idea, RC-70. So you don't have to worry about that hallway. Absolutely, because yeah. then it's like, you okay, now you only have to defend yourself from like three fronts. Yeah. And then yeah. it can like change. But yeah, there feels like there's something that's like keeping me from wanting to just like play the shit out of this game. Yeah. And it's just, and it's in the design. It's not, it's not in the concept. It's like the concept the con is great. The base concept is really good. The, the circling around and catching things is really good. At I guess it's in the gameplay then. Yeah. It's in the like, the, the, the basics, the basics are good. Yes. And that's the most important. The input, the paddle control is very good. The second player controlling. That's fun. That's and great addition. Because a lot of games a lot of games could do that. But they don't. But they don't. And it's got cool tactics. It make, requires like some different... Make player difference. to the enemy. Hell yeah. Why not? Um, yeah, power-ups, blocking things. Um, VHC said uh, enemy patterns. Um, multiple yeah. enemies coming in. Definitely. Like, you could have slow but multiple right yeah so get to a fast speed and then the next level is like oh they're coming in from the top if each and the level bottom. felt different yeah that would help a lot actually yeah. 
Because at the moment, when it changes levels, it doesn't feel like I'm really, like, crossing a threshold no. into, like, a new... Like, you think about, like, one of the cool things about Roach in Space is every level's so different so that it keeps you wanting to kind of... You feel like you're constantly in, like, a new world. Yeah. Versus this one, I feel like I'm in the same world, and it's just kind of, like, a new color and a bit faster and higher numbers. Which true you're in the same world, but, you know, maybe the enemy is bringing out reinforcements. Harder, totally. harder guys. Yeah. Um excellent hosts excellent games did we see the cats no they no make... no cats today i think during the summer they they don't seem to be here as much they're, no they're like they're too like, hot because like... in the winter they want to cuddle 24 we're, it's we're a 12 warm. hour marathon they were just barely there they were having their own yeah thing upstairs um you could also change the shape of this of the of the like um room like have it be diagonal instead of like so that it's like you know so Ooh. slightly slightly different so that way it's kind of like an x pattern so you have to now learn like a different sort of angle that could be interesting yeah where instead of the squares they're at the corners totally and you could still use the joystick for that absolutely and it's then like, or you could add like a bunch of like a ton like a star shape with a bunch of patterns or you could have just yep. one that just comes because that oh, would be neat because yes. it would give you or like just two and then you have two on this side, Left, and then right, you have four. Bottom, yep. And then he, so that way it's like each time it feels like a little bit different. And then each one would feel like there's a progression of some kind. But I don't know how much programming that would be. I'm not a programmer. I'm sorry. It does add more to it. I'm sure it does. Yeah. It makes it seven out of ten. No cats. Hey man, that's all good. Is that a play on that British TV show, Seven Out of Ten Cats? Oh, I didn't. I don't know. Is heard that of the that. actual title of it? It's a British show hosted by oh now i can't remember his name but i think that's that's the reference that's but the... very clever very clever i always point to that you guys can't see what the hell it's yeah like. it's because we it's got a laptop over here. and everything <clears throat> so thanks for tuning in um let's do a little recap of uh the games we played uh galagon always amazing always a of great course one. Great updates to seeing it. Seeing it just get refined more and more is insane. It's, and you can almost not even notice the refinements. It's it's the, the game testers that are just nitpicking at the law, smallest things, which is what you want to do as you get closer to the end. And I'm happy that um, they chose to go with the Galagon just to make sure that it, it's, you know, because it was Safe, the wor it worst pulled. case scenario would be to um, all that hard work goes for nothing because something yeah. gets flagged. And that That's would just terrible. be such a, such a sad blow. It would be, and it has happened before. Oh yeah, uh, with Princess Rescue, it's like it's got to go, and nobody could have it anymore. And it was sad because uh, that was a really good game. Um, Roach in Space, amazing, awesome variety. Love, Hell love, yeah. love the game. Super challenging. The right balance of hard, and and it is, it's in its right spot for release candidate. Absolutely. Didn't find any bugs no suggestions really, really no it's like you know i just wish we were better at the game <laughs> that's right so we could see more of it but we'll, that's just we'll takes a, practice we'll do a full uh a full show kind of dedicated to it more we, dedicated to once have, it's out we have to do a full show for like all of his games because his games are so and that's that's the thing actually <laughs> all of his games are so because that so would be good. a cool one to um, even just Go Night right Guy in Low Res World. Like, I'd love to see that. Yeah, well, we tried. We got further. A little bit further. I think we pretty much got there. It just, Almost just died, like, just yeah, like... Yeah, right at the end guy. I didn't, heal, I didn't kill the spider. Yeah. I think the spider's the end. Or not. Or not. Doo -doo. Might be only halfway through. That would uh, be amazing. Nano Wing, uh, pretty frustrating. Definitely troll game for sure. Kind That's how a, I feel. Kind of a cool, cool concept, but it just needed that last thing to make it work. It feels it like a have. like a troll or a meme game. <laughs> Do you know, what I mean? it's really it is almost in its own weird category. It's yeah. like you know, one button Bob, great concept. Need somebody to take it to the full extent. Totally. Yeah. And and like um, I love their little hint at a narrative. It would be cool to sort of push that. You enter a castle. You dodge a guillotine. You, could be you jump over one a level. thing. Like you flap on one level. How 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 few flaps can you like yeah. flying or or trampolines? You bounce on a trampoline. And like there's um, a million things you could do with one button. Oh, totally. And it is also cool. Like if you go into a castle, like why not go through the yeah. different stages and go Spikes. deeper into it? You have to duck at some point. Th th totally. Things like flying at you. Because it's always fun to have a little bit of a thing, ninja-ish. 
A lot more levels past the spider. Okay. Oops. <laughs> a lot. Also, Ninja should have more content in the current release. Ooh, okay. that's cool. So that's that's really good. Um, so we'll I, s I just knew it, man. Again. I was like, that spider is the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> yes. And uh, Drone Wars. Great start to the game. Hell yeah, man. Um, just needs, I think, expansion on the gameplay. Uh, great base, great controls. It was very precise. Amazing controls. beginning for. I like... would maybe slow it down just a touch on the controls. Yes. Not spinning just so fast. It's it's you do get used to it, but I I still I felt it was really fast movement. Yeah, yeah. it's it's a little bit it's trigger happy. Yeah, um, and I love the mechanic of blowing yourself up Actually, because you really have to make that decision. Maybe maybe that's what is missing with yeah. that one game the nano is a nano speed wing. because because you can only move so fast yeah they, they, i wonder that would help that game moving if, in four directions maybe? oh no if you could move up or down quicker oh. because at least then you could dodge some stuff although the game would get a lot easier and harder too because yeah in precise areas it gets really hard if you're moving fast but you could use a button totally to move faster but that like, but because still you, impossible spots. Totally, but at least then that would be like you could theoretically with your with your reflexes do it. Yeah, at least a bit better. Yeah, so that that would help, and but, then just eliminate impossible things. Yeah, so just rework the levels, so the UFO always starts on the right hand side, or at least halfway back, or make it so that there's certain there's, the levels that like insta death don't happen next to each other and there's at least that much space yeah at the beginning of each level that would solve it so at least you can do it yeah um so that is it whoa for this show it's uh, the shortest show of all time compared to last week yeah now it feels so breezy so it's like easy. two hours <laughs> nah, it's nothing. We, we got you could do that holding my breath um uh, so, I don't have any games picked out for Friday, except for a patch challenge. Cool. Which is Pressure Cooker. We'll be revisiting Galagon again with uh, Tanya. Yay. Because she wanted to play it as well. I think there's a puzzle game that I was holding back for Tanya. I can't remember which one it is, though. I think it's Mini Sokoban. Yeah, that's a puzzle game. So Interesting. I'm just going to do maybe that with her. Have you tried the wireless um, thing yet? Uh, I haven't had time. Oh, that's all good. I obviously, just... with the twelve-hour marathon, um, but I do want to get that up and going. The wireless SD cards, so yeah. I can just transfer. So things. I should just like wait till you announce it. But I always. Please. <laughs> <laughs> but it does remind me to do it. Thank you, Impaler Twenty Six. Glad you enjoyed the show. Um, so join us again on Friday for another show. I want to thank all the people that were watching Impaler Twenty Six. VHZC for another uh, great game. Yay. Jesus98 Atari for his game as well. I love when the developers are in the chat. Um, they get feedback and we can ask them questions. It makes a big difference. It's so cool too. Mr. Fix, RC70, Militant Buddhist, Kev73, uh, Lem, Lem C. Callister? How would you say hey. that? Lems, Lem C. Callister? <laughs> Anyway, LMC Callister. Little McAllister. Uh, Trey Guy. Scum Software. Thank Scum. you so much. I suppose that, I as always. To, Thrust 26. Splendid Nut. Deanoid. All these great developers in wow. here. Wow. Uh, I think that's most of the people who chatted. Great show. Somebody said good show. Somebody said great show. Wow. Excellent host. Thanks, thanks for hanging out, guys. Yeah, excellent games. Yes, yeah, sorry I was so quiet. Galagon was taking me away. That's all right. There's nothing yeah, wrong with no that. Yeah, no problem man. at all. I enjoyed a lot. Excellent. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on Friday. And we'll be back with this guy That's right. next, next Wednesday, Wednesday as well. Um, and uh, so we'll see you again. Thanks for hanging out with us. Bye-bye.